you have spent the last two weeks in the city of Daramar waiting in the antechamber to the palace's courtroom. You've been hired as an escort to Blackwell, one of Valen's shipping companies, Valen being the city that you live in, um, a coastal city, to accompany Gresh, their company representative. Court is currently in session, and Gresh has come to appeal to the court to launch a supernatural investigation in the harbors of Valen. They've been plagued by many supernatural occurrences in the previous months, and it's causing Blackwell to lose a lot of business. It's the final day of court, and you are annoyed that Gresh hasn't been called for his turn to appeal. You wish you could have spent a little more time in bed. This An escort job like this isn't something you normally enjoy, but they always put you up in a nice inn and pay very handsomely, so if you took the city, you don't have expect there to be any trouble mainly your job is to keep fresh safe on the journey there and back so you've been kicking it basically so now i want you to tell us and dare more a large like metropolitan city um keep that in mind because now i'm going to ask what does moash do at night when he's free time here in the city of jeremar you've been here for two weeks what have you been up to Moash, having spent a lot of time like around soldiers and other mercenaries and people of that type, would probably fight <clears throat> down by kind of like the dock or kind of like this dock, the senior part, like looking for dice games with like other mercenary groups or anyone or hanging out like at the place that most of the soldiers from the nearby, like the whatever their go to, like tavern. Okay, so kind of like the seedier parts of town. Yeah. Okay, and I will mention that Daramar is landlocked, so there's no dock. Yeah. I realized that. I was like, wait, not what I meant. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, um, and how do you feel about... Okay, so I'll, Gresh is kind of like... Imagine... Like, like what you would imagine, like a TV's representative or what an accountant... Like... Um, how they would act, and that's Gresh. Does that make sense? Oh, God. It's, like, really boring. Like, like he thinks water is... Oh, no. It's Gresh and Roloff. I... I would not like him very much at all. Okay, I think you're... So you're waiting in this antechamber chamber with Gresh, and I can only imagine there's lots of eye rolls as he sits there and, like, I don't know, pulls out an abacus and starts counting his something. I don't know. Working on his like, like receipt that he's going to have to turn in. Like his, yeah, his, his, right? his, so that he can get reimbursed. Yeah, exactly. It's tax day. Yeah, and I am, I am definitely just like not even paying attention to him. Just, I've already tuned him out. He barely exists. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to uh, move on to uh, Dazzle. Dazzle, are you there? Hello. All right. So, Dazzle, you, you've been in Daramar for the past month. You accompanied the Arc Druid of Mossstone along with your circle mate, Griselda, to the capital. The Arc Druid, Irgem, holds a seat on the Royal Privy Council, and each day he's been in court. At night, you three have been able to spend some time to get together in merriment and immersion into the Daramar Daramarian culture. During the day, however, Jazzle and Griselda have been tasked by the Archdruid to spread the teachings of their circle with teaching about the proper way to care for nature. Today, Jazzle and Griselda are waiting in the antechamber to the courtroom as Eargum said for their last night in the city, he had a surprise for them and to wait for him there. So now I'm going to ask Jazzle, what are the kinds of things that you like to get up to at night when you have free time or while you're hanging out with Griselda and Eargum? Um, other bars. Is that a thing? In abundance. <laughs> All right. Taverns up the ass. So we're going Many to taverns. taverns. And we're eating all the gourmet food. And um, we are enjoying each other's company. And, but also, we're still caring through the night so it's like a drunk uh, what's the drunk history but like drunk nature 101 um it's just always spreading advocating you're like you did you do you even know the lifespan of a sycamore tree <laughs> <laughs> i love those. like 
like super drunk talking to like little halflings yeah, who are like trying to run away from you. Fifty pounds. Yeah, you just never, you don't stop talking about it, so it just amplifies. Okay. And so Griselda, she, so I would think Dazzle's probably a little more outgoing, is that correct? Yeah. And so Griselda and even the Archdruid, Irgum, they're more reserved. Is that, so, so like Griselda is more cap, like calm and calculated. Do you think that you get along with Griselda? Are you just circle mates, or do you think that maybe she's the yin to your yin? Yeah, like, I would say I pull her out of her comfort zone. Um, like, you get her out on the tavern floor to dance? <laughs> yeah, but, like, they also keep me grounded. Like, she prevents you from, like, peeing on the side of yeah. the tavern? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, like, reins you in a little bit? Yeah, gives me glasses of water and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, all right, we're gonna move on to. Is it Demaya? Yes. Demaya, for sure. We can't hear you talking, Adrian. Fuck. Yeah, I can't Shit. hear anything from. Then unmuted and then muted it again, so. She might have an issue with her input. She saw it earlier. I bet Lazlo ate her cable or something. Hold on. Is it working now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I can hear you now. All right. Perfect. Yes, it's Demaya. Okay. So, Demaya, you are actually living in the city of Jaramar currently, right? You've been here for about three years? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, then I want to ask you. The Maya, what is your what does your typical day look like? Um, at this point, uh, a typical day would probably be waking up in pretty much the outskirts. Um, usually gonna have like maybe a little bit of a tent going. Um, sometimes living in or like staying in a, like a pretty cheap inn or something near like the lower income areas. Um, but gonna wake up. Probably gonna go find some cheap ass food or maybe catch it myself um, to go hunting in the outskirts and then potentially uh, gonna go see if there's anything posted in terms of um, things like assassinations, going to gather information, see if there's anything posted for someone to go do for money. Um, I'm pretty good at collecting information, taking out, uh, like basically doing assassination attempts um, and that sort of a deal. And then after I do that, maybe I'll just go back to sleep <laughs> and or eat more and chill. Nothing crazy. <laughs> okay, so you do know, I mean, in Daromar, there are going to be significant assassination postings than maybe you were hoping. Um, it's definitely not legal <laughs> to murder someone. That's and okay. Maybe in some of the seedier areas, you might find somebody who's looking for a hitman. But definitely not as much as you're used to when you lived in the nation of Om. Um. So you might have been taking a lot more like menial tasks. In fact, um, you today have come to the palace to see if there are any government jobs that you, you wouldn't normally come looking here, but business has been very, and it seems as if the number of mercenaries in Daramar grows every day, not to mention Without, without a wolf, um, the types of jobs that you, you take can hardly be considered, or, sorry, hold on, I misread something. Uh, since Daramar hasn't seen war for a century, the types of jobs that you take can hardly be considered mercenary jobs. Peace is not the friend of someone in your profession. However, you do have an acquaintance, one of the court viziers, Ryland, that who normally knows that the better, more highly paid jobs before they're posted, and that's why you're here at the palace, to meet with your friend. I guess I guess acquaintance, it's Ryland. Does that sound like that? Ryland, okay, yes, this sounds promising. <laughs> okay, so you aren't sure where Ryland is, but she did tell you, uh, but you do know that she normally hangs out near the courtroom, so you're gonna be waiting in the, Maybe not in the antechamber, 
but just outside of it, because um, you kind of know when and where you can meet, meet Rylan, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm lurking about, waiting for my friend to show. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to jump to, is it Verzik? Verzik? Verzik, yeah. Verzik. All right, Verzik. So now I want to ask you the same thing. What is, because you live in the city of Daramont. Of course. It's a great place to be. All right. So now what does your typical day look like? Well, so during the day, Verzik uh, uh, is getting up to have all kinds of fun. Verzik really is kind of uh, trying to get on in the Wizard Academy that he's part of. So I will say that you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So you haven't gone to the Academy yet. Gotcha. Okay. So then I guess I'm not. Uh, I'm kind of just roaming the streets. I, I kind of. My character is more of a. He, does, he doesn't like to talk to people and he doesn't like to be bothered by others. He's more of a, he keeps to himself. Uh, he's basically trying to always look into new ways to learn different spells. And he's basically obsessed with like learning new magic or tricks. Um, and I can only imagine that a bunch of people do try to pick a fight with you because you're so big. You're a yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a big old boy, but I, I don't want much to do with that. I, I'm more of a... Uh, you know, at a bar, I'd rather walk up to somebody with a deck of cards, demand they pick a card, than to demand their table. All right. And so, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but do you live with your parents? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, I just was wondering. They were not very uh, happy when I decided to give up the... Uh, when I decided to pursue magic as my main uh, focus in life, they... My parents were not very thrilled with the idea of uh, their son being more into magic than sword. Right, right. Okay. All right. So, Verzik, you woke up this morning with a purpose. You were finally to Beneficus, which is the name of the account, to see if you could get enrolled. Um, and so, I'm wearing my, my nice linens. I, you know, I made sure it was, uh, I made sure I'm presentable in the way a half work would, so I've smeared my best war paint across my, my cheek. <laughs> good, good. All right. So you get to the courtyard of the academy. So before you haven't entered into the academy yet, you're kind of outside in the courtyard, and you see um, three teenagers, basically. Um, two human, one, el uh, one high elf, um, sitting um, like on the ledge of a fountain. Um, as you kind of walk up to the academy, and uh, one of them pipes up and says, uh, kind of to his friend, "It's like, oh, ooh, he must be." Uh, I think I'm gonna walk right up to him, and I'll say, "Just pick a card." Oh wait, I'm sorry. What? what did pick, you say? pick a card. I'm telling him I'm ordering them <laughs> almost in a very Gruff half orc voice as I tower over them to pick a card. And I, I, I add in when I see that they're nervous. Any card. Dude, are you serious? They're they're kind of like they're kind of rude teens. You know, they're like standard rude teens. I like grab one of them by the scruff of their neck, lift them up, and say, pick a card. <laughs> you grab them by the scruff of his neck? Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, his two friends, uh, they're going to cast a spell on you then. Heck yeah. So because we're not in combat, we're not going to get to combat rules, but essentially the, they have cast um, a spell. Um, I just want to say... Verzik would be very happy to see magic, even if it is being used on him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there. Um, uh, they're going to cast Charm Person on you.
Amazing. And you, what is your, um, isn't it a wisdom save or Yes. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw in the Discord. Yeah, I will. Hold on. Uh, okay, so I've got, a, I've got plus zero in wisdom. Nice. Oh, nat 20, baby. Nice. So you resist this charm person, like, easily. You don't even notice that he cast charm. Okay. And, and then next, he's going to see that that didn't work, and he's going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Oh, no. Is this also a wisdom saving throw? This is another wisdom saving throw. Well, I typed it, it's loading. I don't, it's, let's just see. I'm trying to, it's like great get out my message, I think. Did you do exclamation point 1D20? <clears throat> yeah, I typed it twice now. It looks like it's like not sent to me for some reason. It's saying that you're typing. Yeah, I don't know. I have to enter. Discord is lagging. Do you have a, a die with you? You got another nat 20 and it doesn't know how to process. Yeah, like, it's gonna do. I don't believe that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can go grab my dice real quick. They're in the other Here, wait, let me try it. What are you trying to roll? Another t d20? Yeah, I just roll a d20. Let's see if it yeah, works. Yeah. That'll work. Nat 20 again! <laughs> no way! Okay, so the kid, he's gonna... Wait, can we... Can somebody else... <laughs> it's only rolling nat 20s. Yeah, can somebody else roll this again real quick? Just to make sure we're not only rolling 20s. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> it's only rolling 20s. You have to roll... No. What? <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be broken. There's no way there's 20 20s in a row, Chris. Oh! No! <laughs> We just had incredible luck as a team. Yeah. Well, okay, Chris. I'll take my second nat 20 in a row. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the kid that... I'm going to go ahead and take a card. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, you see me very dramatically fan the cards out in front of him. Uh, and I say, tell me when. Um, he, like starts his eyes back and forth uh wet so i stop up i put his card back in the deck and uh you see me like fumble with the cards a little and then suddenly i get i'm trying to do like a performance basic uh -huh, almost i i'm doing a trick that's basically like moving the card to the top of the deck i mean it's a pretty simple trick something i've been practicing oh, you know so Go ahead and roll, I guess, a sleight of hand check then. Okay. So that's uh, plus, plus some dexterity. It's still not letting me send messages. It's in the dip. Can you roll for me, Chris? You're banned. Uh, yeah. Yeah, somebody banned me, I guess. Okay, 13 plus one in dex. Okay, so uh, a 14. Yeah, we'll say that you succeed in whatever. Actually, no, never mind. I've got a, a, a um, proficiency in sleight of hand. Okay, well, regardless, <laughs> you, you, you're you going to go ahead and succeed on that. Does anyone know mm -hmm. Patrick's offline? Yeah. yeah. He's trying to log back in. He's right. Oh, okay. I was like, oh. <laughs> Woohoo. So, yeah, so uh, suddenly I lift up the top card, and there, there, there was the card that... Uh, that they drew earlier, and and I, I, I double check myself. I like look at the card. And I go, whoa, good. Yeah, the the team starts to like, whoa, it's so cool, and Boulder. Well, I, I definitely would take them at face value for that. Um, yeah, I think Discord's having issues because Patrick can't log back in, and you can't send messages. Yeah, mine are still having issues. Not as of yet. No, everyone else is good? Yeah, so far. All right. All right, so Ver Ver Verzik? Yes. Um, 
So the kid, so the, do you set this kid down? Oh, oh, for sure. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, after after we took the card, I was gonna send him down. Okay. Uh, I needed the both hands. He's gonna look at you. He's gonna look at you. He's gonna go. What are you even doing here? Uh, I'm here to <laughs> learn cool tricks. So you guys like, go and learn here at the Wizard Academy. Seems like best place for me. Uh, are you a wizard? Yeah, I think that was obvious. Um, you see, like, you guys haven't cast any other that I could tell. Uh, <laughs> you see, the kids like glance at each other and uh, they're going to uh, look at that kind of like that kid that you picked up. He seems to be the ringleader. And he's going to say, Well, you know, to even get an audience with the Archmage, you. Ooh, have to have your wizard's license. Do you have your wizard's license? Uh, I mean, is this something? <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and roll an insight check. Yeah, I was gonna say this seems dishonest. I can't roll. Can Chris, can you roll for me? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. A liar. A liar is in our plus, midst. I have a plus two. Eighteen. Um, All right, so you don't necessarily believe this kid, but he did say, like, oh, you get license. Oh, I said, uh, can I see yours real quick? Uh, yeah, so you hear him mumble under his breath, and then he pulls something out of his pocket and hands it to you, and it says, oh, my God, uh, name, 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 name. Grommeled. <laughs> 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 um, but Bane sniff. Um, and then it says official wizard's license in, of the city of Daramar, and it has the picture of him on it. I don't. Would go you ahead say... and roll another. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and roll an intelligence. You got this, Chris. You can roll for me again. I've got oh, a. Uh... I keep forgetting that you can't roll. Yeah, I've got a. Plus two to intelligence. That's a 19. <laughs> yeah, so you can tell that he cast um, Minor Illusion on this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just rip it in half. <laughs> okay. That, that's good. And I'm going to say that was not my card. <laughs> All right. The kids are going to be like, oh, God, this guy's no fun. And they're going to try to walk away from you. That's fine. I'll let him, I'll let him uh, but I will uh, call after him. Cool spell. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to put a hold on you real quick, and I'm going to jump over to Paul. Sorry. Paul, you've been so bored. I wish your father would have given you the last day that court would be held off to do as you please. Your father, Duke Umber, is strict. Um, is a strict book, um, so he did not give you the day off. You're tired of all the side blends and disapproving suits while sitting at your father's side in the court. As the bastard son of Duke Umber, it is frowned upon for him to eat, for you to even be at court with him, though it is within his. Duke Umber hasn't had um, halt the company has had you accompany him to court until now. You knew that your father would have preferred your elder sister Cassandra be there in your stead, but she fell ill just before they were You're annoyed that you have had to take off a full month's worth of night training, but you have liked being able to enjoy the nightlife here in Terramar. So what have you been doing in your time? At night, like when you have some free time to do. Probably, probably just going to the local tavern, just meeting all new people around because I haven't left. Okay, okay. so like, what? Okay, um, so you might have my my Oh, okay. So you're trying to be worried about it. 
But so you're not from here, so people may not necessarily even know who you Allah, I'm here. <laughs> okay, good. You got my phone. Okay. All right, so you are not from here, so you're probably not recognized um, at all. Yeah, I just figured my dad would be kind of disapproving of this kind of behavior in this town. I'm already a bastard son, and I'll be bringing more shame, probably the family, to tell me doing this type of stuff. All right, that makes sense. Um, do you want to go ahead and uh, uh, describe how you're feeling? Because right now, um, and you, you can see um, to your left is actually going to be, um, you are like the closest seat near the throne where the queen is sitting. And next to her, you'd see the princess, her daughter, sitting there. Um, of course, you're sitting next to your father. Um, there's only about 20 to 25 people in the courtroom. Uh, yeah. What have you been doing to like get through, like the days where you... Because this stuff does not interest you. I usually leave this type of stuff to my sister, knowing it's her play to be here, not mine, especially with the disapproving glances and stuff. Right. But... I just, everything my father's been telling me on the way here and been straining me a whole life, trying to, like, bring the family name, like, a good word to it as much as I can and answering politely to people, but not really ever speaking my own thoughts or out of turn. Okay, so you're not being rebellious in any way, but you're actually no. kind of just, like, trying to fit the role or play the role. Just trying to my father please while I'm here because he asked me to come in my sister's place. Okay. That's... All right, I'm going to jump to Mary Jane now. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, Mary. You are um, also in the courtroom. And I didn't speak with you beforehand because we never had time. But um, I'm going to say some things here, and then you just tell me if you hate it or if you're fine with this <laughs> exposition. So Mary Jane hated being in the city this past you miss your garden back in the country home that your father owns on the outskirts of Sarada, which is mm -hmm. most of all, you miss your friends in the pool of Eldad and spreading the good word of her, of your goddess, Eldad. Uh, now that I know that your name is weed related, I can also assume that you do more than worship in the temple of Eldad. Yes. Uh, <laughs> You're in the courtroom sitting next to your father. You are actually on the opposite side of the, um, as Halt is. Okay. And um, do you have a last name? If um, not, I have one ready. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, Your father is uh, Duke Gisalt. Oh, yeah. Gabe showed me that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So your father is uh, Duke Gisalt. Um, you are not... And you're not interested in anything that's going on here. Is that correct? Yeah, for sure. Right. And so <laughs> as you're sitting here next to your father, as the citizens come one after another with their problems and the council spends hours deliberating and considering what they will do to help them, you notice that it seems that the council just throws money at a lot of the problems and that tends to move things along more quickly. Um, and uh, what... How has your, um, I guess, how, while here at court, you've been here for a month, have you been kind of more rebellious? Have you been playing the role of the dutiful daughter? Because, I mean, it, that's going to be kind of a character decision on your part, but you have. Um, okay, I feel like my character was doing okay at first because she brought plenty of herbs with her. And then once she ran out, she kind of became more rebelli rebellious and, like, started going out in the city more in search of things. Oh. So at night, well, but, so maybe at first at night you were staying home and, you know, chatting with your father or something, and then yeah. as, as the days grew, as, 
uh, as the days pass, you you know what are you doing at night whenever you have time. Um, probably going out and going to like the pubs and stuff. Right. Uh, like but, uh, right, and um, you're a nature domain cleric, is that correct? Yeah. So I would imagine, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're doesn't particularly vibe with like the the life right yeah, you like the chill countryside where you can relax and maybe enjoy some herbs while you're listening to the birds <laughs> chirp yeah um so maybe you're not particularly the most comfortable in the city yeah um so maybe you're going to like the more low-key taverns not the like nice yeah, little tavern yeah. <laughs> okay so there's Zick for jumping all of that alright there's Zick you are out in the courtyard what do you do well, I'm gonna be walking straight towards whatever front entrance I can see I'm in the courtyard so I'm assuming there's Probably leads to some grand entrance. So I'm walking. I'm hoping it. Trying to. I'm trying to find. You know who I can talk to to get enrolled in this. Okay, so you walk through the main entrance. Uh, and yeah. That, okay, and you see a desk in front of you, um, a fairly large oak desk, um, and kind of this grand foyer, kind of like a reception, receptionist desk, and you behind the desk a small woman, probably about three, with thick uh, glasses on and a hair and her hair up in a bun, with a, a stack of books so that she's sitting on so that she can reach the desk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she's filling out paperwork. And you can see like corridors off to the sides, but this is the only person that you see right now i would definitely just walk up and say hey hello she um looks up from her paperwork and um adjusts her glasses and says uh, can i help you magic lessons uh she sighs <laughs> Have you taken your written exam yet? I just like long drawn out like uh if you haven't taken your written exam, you can't get entrance into the academy. Uh where are you sure this is the profession you want to be pursuing? Uh no, most hard. wizards most wizards speak in complete sentences. That's okay. I can learn. <laughs> right, uh, uh, she's going to give you a, a little note, um, signed a signed little note, and she's gonna um, give it to you, and she's gonna. All right. You're going to have to go to the palace, and you're going to have to go to the wizard's department to take your written exam. This is a public school, so an admission in government or something. I don't know, something exposition that would make sense. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, <laughs> and on that note is also the address to the palace, because she's not sure you know how to get because that will be. Okay. I just like turn and walk out, no like thank you or anything. <laughs> okay, she just goes back to doing what she was doing. Um, are you gonna go straight? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what time of day is it? It's still morning. Time, I would definitely, say definitely, definitely. He's in a like let's go get it kind of. Oh, okay, like getting it done, kind of. Yeah, maybe. yeah. He, you know, this is like. The academy is kind of where he's always wanted to end up, and this is just you know, okay. From Bearsley's point of view, that discussion with the boys in the courtyard went pretty well, so he's kind of like, "Let's do it." 
All right, so we're going to fast travel to the Palavos then. <laughs> um, okay. You get to the gates, and of course there's always guards at the gates, and um, what do you do? I'd probably uh, just take out form, <laughs> gesture towards them, and say, magic, what's this? They kind of look at you quizzically, but then one of the guards takes the note, and he goes, o -o okay, you're going to go through here, and you're going to take a left. First quarter to your right. Uh, I make sure to, I'm like, re gesture repeatedly, like, for the note back, and I just kind of, like, nod at him as I pass. Okay, so um, you go ahead and go in. Do you follow his direction? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I trust that he's not. All right, so you're going to walk in, and, and you are going to turn left, and then you're going to take the first quarter to your right. Um, he didn't mention which, which door you're supposed to go in. Uh, <laughs> can you read? Uh, yeah, I would say common. Can you read like, common? Yeah, yeah. I, and I would I'd say I would read common. Okay, okay. Then but it, you're like we've got more pressing issues in the Discord. Oh. Okay. <laughs> halt is is committing anarchy. All right. If you stop the queen, then everybody attacks. You. <laughs> <laughs> All a new character. One hit, one kill, easy. One shot. One kid. No! No, Widowmaker! No! I have nightmares. I hear that in my sleep. Yes. All right. So, um, there's, like, you're going to go and you're going to actually, you're going to the doors above it. It's going to have, like, like uh, it's going to say wizards. What did I say? Uh, wizards. Uh, Written exam. The wizard department. Well, no. It's going to say wizards department. Right. Oh, okay. So you're left it's going to be kind of another reception area where there's a lady high elf sitting at a desk but to the left you're going to see a large wall with little inboxes um and then to the right you're just going to see a bookshelf okay i definitely just walk up to the lady at the reception she literally doesn't look up and just points to the wall uh of inboxes and as you get as you look closer you see that each one is a different kind of paperwork or a test oh, you know God. <laughs> yeah and so maybe after a while you find the one that says um uh that you find the one that says benefica this entrance <laughs> okay, perfect <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and jump to the characters who are in the antechamber that is gonna be moash and dazzle um, and then Demaya is standing outside, so she can probably kind of hear what's going. And um, the only people left in this antechamber are going to be Moash, Dazzle, Griselda, and um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, what's the guy's Gresh. I forgot who my friend is. It's like what's my friend's name? <laughs> I would say Moash, when he sees a, a half-work walk-in, perks up a little bit. Yeah, it's like um, mid-morning now. On the last day of court, it ends at noon. So, like, it's so close to the end. Um, just That's just some exposition there. What were you saying, Moash? I was saying when I see a half-work, because you said he walked in, I, like, he's in the same room that I, we're in, right? So, no, he's not oh, the same. Okay. He's actually, I mean, you guys don't know this, but he's... Literally one corridor open. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> um, but in, in here you have you, who's a human, Gresh is a human, Dazzle is a giant golden dragon. Oh my gosh. Zelda is a human. And those are the four people in the room. Wait, so literally three of the four people in the room are human, and then the other one is a golden, like, dragonborn? <laughs> but I'm not human, though. They're like, I just see myself as another human. Like, not, <laughs> not necessarily as a human specifically, but I don't see myself as like a giant person in the room. Um, I don't think I'd really, like notice, to be honest. But I'm picturing like, myself like if there's a golden giant dragonborn. Dragonborn are very rare. Most of you probably have oh. never seen one. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna assume that if I see. If there's a golden dragonborn in the room, like, I'm definitely, like, leaning in the doorway. Like, I'm not fully outside. Like, my eyes are on her. 
it's one of those things where like most people like have heard of them but most people haven't seen of them so you're kind of it's kind of like suspended reality when you do see when you're like whoa is this real oh never mind then i would be paying attention to her for sure i've i've I'm, seen like, one people staring at me, so i don't really notice what's going on i just kind of like am focused on what i'm there to do and i would assume that you're used to this and most places you go outside of your circle, you know, the people are going to stare. Yeah. Okay, so are you guys going to try to make conversation at all? Or I explained what you see, Moash, but what does Dazzle see when she looks at you? Like I said, I mean, I just, well, what, what is he? he, you said he? I'm human. Okay, then I just see three humans in the room, right? Right, I, that was me telling Gabe to describe the character. Oh, oh sorry. I think I would, would like take note, and I would still be next to. Wow, I'm sorry, the count um, guy. Sorry, I forgot their name. Um, Grash. Which honestly, though, that's probably true to character that I forget their name. <laughs> um, it's like I notice her, and I'm definitely watching her, but I'm not like. I'm definitely not like turning to like open a conversation or anything. I have I have a job to do, so I'm just sticking to the Okay. Um I imagine maybe Dazzle and Priscilla are like playing cards or something to pass the time, or maybe I don't know, is is Dazzle can she sit still for long periods of time or does she like to keep things to distract her? I mean, yeah, we're just like keeping like we're just you know, we already know each other, so we're just, like, making small talk and just trying to, like, wait till this is over. Okay. Um, all right, so then I'm go ahead and we'll jump back to Verzik. I'm sorry, I know I'm focusing a lot on Verzik, but... Um, <laughs> it's okay, he's entertaining. I had to get it. We, it we're just going to get through it. Okay. So, Verzik, you have picked up a piece of paper off the out of the inbox and it says you know um it, it says that Benefica's entrance exam uh written portion okay do you do you be, and you, uh, i assume you like ask the lady for a pencil or a quill <laughs> yeah i definitely would like walk it over because you definitely don't have one like most do, you, do you have one no, I definitely do not. Okay. There are some core customs that I do attend to, and that is never having a radio tennis on me. So you're going to take a test. Question one. A bright streak flashes from your pointing finger to a point you choose within range, then blossoms with a little roar into an explosion of flame. What spell is being... Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely would just write uh, Fireball. Okay, next question. What school of magic is the chill touch spell a part of? See, here's the thing. Like, I know the answer to that question, but I don't really know if my character would. Go ahead and, and just pretend, just be be your character and, and answer for them. It's called role-playing. I think I'm going to put down... Uh, like necro fancy because I don't know the word fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question three: When the detect magic spell is cast, what is the radius in which you can sense the magic? And there's a second part to the question as well: How far can the spell penetrate? In oh God! Uh, he's just gonna put thirty feet and fifteen feet. Next question. From what spell does the shield spell always have protection against? <laughs> the, what spell does the shield spell always have protection against? Yes. <laughs> it sounds like he's like oh, rifling I, through his I notes. I think he would just see him scratch his head for a long time before writing anti-shield question mark. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, if you were to be parted with your spellcasting 
what collection of materials could be used to alternatively cast spells to find the really? What was the first, I'm sorry, I didn't get the first part. Did you say the, like my material pouch or whatever? If you were to be parted with your spellcasting focus, what okay, collection okay. of materials could be used to alternatively cast spells to find the familiar? Uh, probably. He probably. I don't think he'd have any idea about this one at all. All right, so you leave it blank. Yeah, I think he would. Yeah, I think he would like feel bad about it, but he would like just like let's be real. And then there's like a bonus question to that. It says, "What type of metal must the brazier be that the materials are consumed by?" Uh, he, he put magic. Okay. How long would the levitate spell last if the spell caster holds concentration for the duration? Uh, five minutes. Spell was cast on a door ten hours ago. Would the spell activate if the door were uh, open? <laughs> I think he. We'll say <laughs> yes. Yeah. How many darts of magical force does the standard magic missile spell create? This one is three. Okay. Uh, must the caster maintain concentration on the spell invisibility after it is cast? No. Okay, this is only ten questions. So I just didn't realize how, yes, yes, how yes, long yes. it was going to take. Probably the yes. You would you would see no, and then like a bunch of lines through. Yes. Okay, and then final question. The comprehend language spell cannot be cast as a ritual to conserve energy. True or false? Uh, false. All right. So you finished the test. Uh, I definitely just like walk over and like put it in front of the, the lake. She gives you a glaring look, and then she pulls out a, a, a red ink pot. <laughs> <laughs> And begins marking up the back to you, and on the top it says 55%. It's greater than 50, I think that's a pass right there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna jump to uh, both Halt and Mary Jane. Are you guys uh, ready? Yeah. Hello. Uh, to kind of um, just describe the um, there is a grand kind of entrance to this room. It's like a two double doors um, that's on one side of the room. And on the opposite side of the room, you'll have the throat. Um, and then beside that are going to be two, like a like a smaller throne on either side. Um, and in the throne is going to be the queen, who's a um, six foot, like, very tall, blonde human, female. Looks to be in her. He's um, next to her is going to be her daughter, the princess. Um, to her, her uh, left, which would be the right, if you're looking, uh, who looks it's like this, like spitting image of her mother, just you know, twenty years younger. Right, well, she's about twenty. She looks about twenty-ish, right? Just much older. Um, and then there's going to be two long kind of tables on either side of, like, on the, if that's, like, the north side of the room, then on the east and west sides of the room, there's going to be, like, two long tables that the rest of the council is sitting at. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. And Holt and his father are going to be on the, if you're looking straight at the throne, on the left side, or the left side table, and on the end that's closest, on the furthest end of from the door, the side that's closest to the. Hello. Okay. Sorry. And then Mary Jane <laughs> is going to be on the right side of the room, on that side, um, so the opposite table. And then you're going to be sitting in this seat that is closest. You said I was next to the. I was like in the seat close to the queen, right, on the left side. Yes. Um. So can you guys kind of. Imagine that, maybe? Yeah, I yeah. I got you. Okay, and then there's going to be like a large curtain that's behind the throne um, on that wall. And then uh, people are walking in through the doors, and they're kind of standing in the center. There's like a slightly raised dais 
for them to like uh, speak and like complete what their case is so that you guys can decide what you're going to do. Okay. Right? Which the, you and Alt don't have any power. Like yeah. you don't make any decisions. You're just watching yeah. um, and listening. And um, your fathers may be asking you, um, like, oh, what would you do in this situation? Like, you know, kind of like quizzing you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but you're not actively participating. And I want um, both of you to roll perception check. <clears throat> That's never good. The first perception check. And if anybody has a question about the mechanics, how anything works, like, like if you're not sure how to roll a dice, or if you're not sure what a specific check does, just ask me. Hold on. Chris, while they're rolling, what was my acquaintance's name? I didn't write it down. <laughs> oh, your acquaintance's name is, let me scroll back up to that, sorry. Um, her name Rylan. It's R Y fucking eight. R Y E L I N. She got a six. Thank you. <laughs> oh. So we have an eight. Yeah. And a six. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I took all the good rolls. Okay. Um. Me. Uh, um. So. Who rolled the eight? Me. All right. With the eight, you at least are kind of aware of what's going on in the room, and you see. Um, so, like, throughout um, and throughout the days, viziers have been, which are kind of like the. And in, in this specific palace, viziers are there's multiples of them and they kind of are in and out. They tend to the things that the queen needs as far as they could be in charge of sending messages out or in charge of um, sending word to the kitchens to start dinner or they um, advise, they, they will whisper in the queen's ear, reminding her of like, you know, like if, if, if reminding her of like, oh, this person, you've met them before. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like oh, you know who this person is. Like them, you know, what they're about to say or something. Or you know, right, so like their information basically, like they're in charge of helping run the like operation of yeah. of the palace and whatnot. So you see behind the queen, um, you see a he, he looks like an elf, and um, you you think that he's with years. You're not. He is, um, and you probably don't really care because you've seen you know. I mean, several of them in it because uh, like there's been many uh, and you probably haven't been paying attention to who it is um, and you kind of glance at Princess Liliana because I guess you like her um, um, she looks just as bored as you are like she's staring off into space um, like you can tell that for most of the um, time that court's been held, she's been very posed. Today, though, she's just, she just, just looks done. She's just like, I'm tired of this, right? Uh, but since you guys rolled poorly, um, that is all that you guys noticed. No. In fact, Mary Jane, you, you noticed nothing. Uh, I feel like oh, I noticed, basically. Mary Jane's <laughs> high off her ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just there was an elf like this year behind the queen. That's really all I. You just like are like oh, there's another one of those. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, tried, uh, I tried to react to a message in the chat, and I got word that I was talking too often and needed to go to the chill zone. <laughs> I agree, honestly, but something is <laughs> happening very wrong. That's weird. What were you trying to say? I feel like I was, mostly, I was trying to respond to games, but quacks like a duck. <laughs> mm. Verzik has you're like I swear your account is like all jacked up. You can't roll dice. You can't do anything. You've been you've been banned. You've been hacked. Well, it's just I can't type in the chat. So because that's how we roll dice, it just won't let me send messages. Yeah. All right. Well, so here is what's gonna happen next, and so 
there's gonna be. Uh, all right. Anyway, we'll just get into it. Um, you guys don't notice anything else happen until you hear, or in fact, no, you see um, this man slip behind the curtain. And we'll say that you see this happen. It's not like he's being super covert about it. But he slips behind the curtain that's behind the throne. Um, and a few seconds pass. Um, and then you hear a whoosh. And you then see a large, dark, black, and purple rift that opens. Like rift, like a space comes out of space out of nothing. That's just rift opens up behind the throne, okay, mm -hmm. and out comes a scimitar that stabs through the throne, back of the throne, and through the chest. It got the queen first. <laughs> yeah, you, the princess. You hear the blood-curling scream as she jumps from her chair. People begin screaming and moving toward the doors. Um, you, uh, and this is both now both Halt and Mary Jane. You hear and see these things happening. You're engaged. Um, you see a man that you know to be the Arc Druid. He uh, jumps from his chair and, like, mid transforms from man to, like, huge, like, what we would consider, like, a Kodiak bear. Um, and charges this figure because out of this rift a has come um, ten hooded figures. The lead of them holding two scimitars, uh, and they're in dark black robes. Mary Jane, your father pushes you to the ground and covers you with his body. Paul, you and your father are the closest of the queen, so you both begin to stand as one of the figures um, comes towards you, and this figure is holding a sword. I draw my sword and jump in front of my father. You can't, can't do anything yet. This okay. is still exposition. Okay. <laughs> All right. And actually, Paul, before you can do anything, you go to draw your sword, and Duke Umber is struck down. <gasps> cool. Well, I'm going to jump back to the antechamber now. You hear her screams coming from inside. Um, this is you, Dazzle, and, and Moash. That are stationed. Um, I didn't mention this earlier. There are two guards stationed in this room at the two doors. Um, they open the doors and rush in. And inside, you see people rushing for the exit, being picked off by three archers. Um, and others, you can be seen being slaughtered by some of these swordsmen. Um, I should say there's a mix of archers and swordsmen um, in these hooded, as these hooded figures. Uh, um, you also see this dual um, figure. Uh, uh, the figure, this figure that has the two scimitars is currently fighting a giant bear. Um, and just as Dazzle can reach the door, uh, I'm assuming Dazzle, actually I'm not going to say this for you, Dazzle, do you run toward the door? What do you, Moash, what do you do? Moash, Hearing the screams is definitely going to check the door, but he's not going to just rush in. He's just going to, like, open a crack to see the lay of the land before he decides. Wait, so the door, the door is open. Never mind. Yeah. open, and you can see the scene that I just, just described. Okay, then, yeah, I'm going to rush in because... I start running. Okay, Dazzle, just as you reach the door, you see this giant bear being stabbed through the chest. Reverting back to man, and then another thrust with his other sword. You see Irgum crumpling. This figure that has the two scimitar scans the room and then rushes behind the curtain uh, that was behind the throne. Mary Jane, you notice that your father is no longer moving and blood is coming from his lips. And as you turn him over to see uh, what's going on, you see three arrows sticking out of his back. Damn. Um, halt, you have slashed through this figure that killed your father in a blind rage, and you turn toward another. Um, Andrew, or Verzik, at this point, you've heard this commotion happen. It's a little fainter because you're in order over. Right, I'm climbing downstairs. I'm dancing with my 55, like spinning in circles. Right, but you do hear this 
happening. And kind of like as you're leaving this corridor, you hear this happening in the corridor next. I'm definitely like on my way over there. Uh, I'm not one to wait around. So when I hear commotion, I'm heading towards it. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into combat. Hell yeah. Hell um, yeah. Good. Chris, I don't know where you have me right now, but I would probably be like in the open doorway, like to the side, like ready to draw my bow. Okay, so you've also, uh, sorry, I forgot about you. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we would have gotten there, but um, so you have rushed from outside the corridor to like to the door as well. Yeah, like using it kind of like half, half in front of it, half behind it as like part shield. Okay. Um, so everybody's kind of rushing in who wasn't already in the room. Um, Mary Jane, are you going to stand up and fight? Or are you no. hysterical? Like, what do you think? No, I'm going to stand up and fight. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and start combat. Um, for those who've never been in combat. Roll for initiative. Lexi and Haley, do you guys need a little rundown of what, what you can do in a combat and how combat works? Or yeah. you gave kind of... Okay, I'll just go ahead and explain. Combat is um, it can be intricate and complicated, but it doesn't have to be. But basically, you're all going to roll initiative. And that's just uh, a d20 plus whatever your initiative bonus is. Someone's typing it. It's right Piper. <laughs> um, this is going to, what this roll that you make is going to decide the turn order. So basically, it's going to be turn-based. Everyone's going to take the turn, right? They're going to go one after the other. Um, so whatever order you're in, that's the turn that you'll be in. On your turn, you basically can do three things. I'm going to fucking um, eight. You're going to have an action, <laughs> um, which most of the things that you can do are an action. So like attacking is an action. Spell is usually an action. You're going to have a bonus action if it is available to you. Um, if something ha has like a descriptor on it that says bonus action, otherwise it's just an action. You're also going to have move. Movement is going to be displayed on your character sheet. Um, most of yours is going to be 30 feet. Some might be 25 or 35, but I think all of yours is 30. Basically, movement is how you're going to turn. Because each round of combat, which a round is everybody's turn. So once everybody's done once, that's an entire round. Each round only consists of six of real time. So everything that happens in the entire round is six seconds. So your movement is how far can you move in six seconds. And you can split the movement up in your turn. Like you can move five feet now, do an attack, and then move another 10 feet, and then do a thing like talk to someone and then move another like 15 feet or something like you can split it up but um that's your movement um you're also going to have free reactions which basically that's going to be drawing a weapon i would say would be considered a free action um you can't both draw and um in the same turn though you can draw a weapon. talking like saying something could be a free action stuff like that um you're also going to have, if you have something that's considered a reaction, which if it's on your character sheet and there's a descriptor that says a reaction, that means that you, if it's something that you can do if something triggered it. So it's like in reaction to something happening, you're going to do this reaction. And, um, I don't think many of you are going to have reactions yet other than an opportunity to attack, which I will explain if it happens. Um, I know that was a lot, and it probably didn't make a whole lot of sense, but, but do you have questions? Uh, I'll go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, Gabe's kind of just going to help me as we go, so. Okay, that's... But I, I just feel like I need to kind of, like, get get through around. That's then... totally fair. What okay. bonus am I looking for? It's at the very top. Uh, initiative. initiative. It should have a zero or a plus something, sometimes a negative if you're... <laughs> Where is that at on D&D Beyond, Chris? Top right corner. It's, it's, a, a, it's a top middle corner. It's next to your armor You don't have yours. It's a zero, Haley. Zero! Because <laughs> you, it's based on your dexterity, which you don't have a modifier. Nice. Okay. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> Nat 20! What the hell? <laughs> so, Gabe, you, 
Gabe, you got a uh, 15? Yep. I got a 14, but I did the plus one wrong. <laughs> you got a 14? Yes. Okay. And then Halt got an eight. I got a nine. Andrew got a nine. Lexi got a 16, and Haley got a nat 20. Okay. And so when, oh, a nat 20, baby. <laughs> so I'm going to mention, um, and Gabe, you'll help Lexi. She's at court. She's not wearing. Yeah. Patrick, mm -hmm. you're also not wearing armor. You you guys are wearing your, your like noble. So your AC oh, is gonna be, so your <laughs> AC is gonna be whatever your dex modifier is. Do I have my shield is. with me? No, you have your sword, but you don't have your. God oh. damn it! Hey, Chris. Yes. I about the um, but earlier, whenever you were describing Haley walking in and being dragonborn, so I technically have like skip like you can see the hint of scales different. If I have any, like my arms are uncovered, you can see like the, the ends of skin. Um, okay. Because of my background. So like might explain a little bit more about my lack of reaction. Sorry, just crossed my mind. We could mention or we could just go ahead and say that maybe you covered enough where it wasn't no. Okay. Yeah, please. Um, because I'm not gonna go back to that saying. <laughs> no, um all right, uh so but I don't think Gabe if if, if the rest of you wear armor day to day then you're wearing it but if you wouldn't be wearing armor then you're not wearing armor i i would think that probably andrew are you wearing armor <laughs> yeah i have a i think i'd be outfitted kind of like how a half orc typically dresses uh so i'd probably have leather. it's probably medium armor whatever the well it's whatever it's your leather armor it's probably I'll leather armor yeah in and gang though, what armor do you actually? Uh, I don't know. That's I fucked up. My character she doesn't have it on there. Um, I've got leather I'm armor. Well, um, if you're yeah. a wizard, you don't start with armor. Then, uh, then there you go. I'll say, I'll say <laughs> I have the armor that I we'll, 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 we'll retcon and say that I was trying to look like a wizard, how I thought a wizard looked when I went to go. Okay. So you're just wearing your common armor then, and maybe like. Oh, I got my war paint on. on. That's like plus three armor right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I would think that probably um, Adri's character always has armor on. Maybe that's the only. Yeah, I'm starting <laughs> to be worried about everyone in the room. <laughs> and then Haley, if you work, I don't, I think go ahead. And you are probably just wearing, because it's just leather armor, so you're probably. Yeah, I was going to say, since I'm, since I'm a druid, it's leather, I just wear yeah. Okay, so sorry, that was just to make sure everyone understood. Um, and at this point, there were 10 hooded figures. One, the one that had two scimitars rushed behind the curtain. Um, and then uh, four others have either been struck down by Patrick, Halt, or, you know, another person in the room. Most people were running toward the door, but, you know, you had the arc who tried to help. Um, but at this point, there you can see no other living beings in this room other than Hulk. And if somebody wants to roll a perception check, they may be able to find another. But um, the, these five figures, and then so question: uh, What? So the one I killed, am I able to see like? Or like, do I have any time I look to see like what they look like? Um, not yet. We're going to say you, not yet. Okay. Right now, you're not worried about that. Okay. Okay, what did you roll? <laughs> a perception check. Hold up. Like, a... no, no, okay, um. Within combat, you know, oh, oh, oh. you want to spend your action to make a perception check? Oh, okay. What do we, uh, okay. Hold up. So, so, hold on, hold on. So you said there's one, the dual-wielding one ran behind the curtain. Four of them are slain. So there's five remaining. Okay. So there's one standing in front of the left side table who has a sword. There's one closer to the door on the 
in front of the right hand table, directly in front of Mary J just on the other side of the table, um, who has a sword. And then there are three standing in front of the throne that have short bows. Okay. Um, and then you said we could... So, Haley. Mm -hmm. uh, what, Adrian? We're good. You said, okay. And the, we saw the other one run behind a curtain? Uh, yeah, yeah, so you all saw it. Okay. How close is he? He is 10 feet away from you with a table in between you. Okay. Um, and Halt, you actually are kind of like diagonal from this guy. Um, and there's a table, the, the guy that's on your side, there's a table between you two, and there's maybe like 12 or 13 feet between you two. Um, and uh, Haley, you're going to go first because you rolled the highest. Dazzle, dazzle. Dazzle, dazzle. Um, dazzle. You, okay, in the door, yep. you have... And um, Moash yeah. and Demaya, as well as uh, Roselda, and um, uh, I think that Gresh didn't go to the door, but he's kind of like standing behind Moash, like peering inside. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, yeah, uh, just so that you know. And you're going to be about 20 feet away from the one on that's on the left side, closest mm -hmm. to Holt, about 15 feet away from the one on the right side, to Mary Jane, and then 30 feet away from the three archers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what, what did you say? Why? Um, you said something about a perception check. Why would I do that? Mm -hmm. Um, if I was supposed to do that, why would I be giving you that? You would be looking around the room to see if there's anything that I haven't described to you, to see if you notice anything else. This maybe is like... to see if you can find anybody who's still alive, or maybe to see if you can find... You know, so, does that make sense? Yeah. This is like the, the beginning of roleplay. The curtain, they're dead, that you described to me earlier. You... No, anybody who ran behind the curtain, not presumed to be dead. You but they're know. not presumed. Like, we don't know that they're there, but they could still be behind the curtain. So, right. You didn't see, like, you don't see a dead body behind you. Dazzle, would your characters stop and look around, or would they jump in to battle and fight? That's pretty yeah, much it. Basically, like, oh, what my, would your character do? Oh, my, my per perception is, like, one of my proficient. Yeah, to do a perception check, so it's going to take your action. So instead of attack or something yeah. like that, you're going to do a perception check. But, okay, but I'm saying, since it's one of my proficient abilities or whatever, uh -huh. wouldn't that be something that I like? Wouldn't that be in character to be? If that's something you think your character would do, then by all means, you can roll a perception check. There's no wrong answer. Think, there's no wrong answer, right? It's yeah. just a matter of what would... Okay. Would Dazzle do right? Would she jump in and start attacking? Would she jump in, like survey? Let me do a perception check. Okay, so roll your d20 plus your modifier for perception. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> plus six is really high. <laughs> plus six, holy. Yeah, what the fuck is your perception? She's uh, proficient. Even uh, I'm proficient. I'm proficient and I only have plus three. three. Dang, she yeah, wrecked she's, me. She's, she has an 18. Yeah, basically. She's yeah, perceptive. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have so, 18 in every skill. Else. So with a 10, you're not going to... Actually, no, a 10 is fine. With a 10, what you do notice is underneath the table that's to the on the right side of the room, at the far end, you see that the princess has crawled underneath this table, um, and she is ducking, like, with her head in her in her arms, like, in the fetal, not the fetal position, but does that make sense? 
baby, I'm coming. <laughs> you don't see her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that's your action. If you have a bonus action, you can do that. If you want to move, you can do that. So I can't log into my D and D beyond. I right have now. well, so I have my bonus action is two weapon fighting. Well, oh well, no, that's ignore that. So is there anything else under? I think you have some spells that might be bonus action. If I click bonus action. Uh huh. No. Okay, then you don't have a bonus action. That means I you can have move. Any action, but okay. So that I... just means you can move. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna. I feel like I would move, because I saw the princess, I feel like I'd, like, move toward the princess. Okay, so... There's also a swordsman right behind her. In order to get to the princess, you're going to walk past one of these guys, and they're going to be able to make an attack of opportunity against you, basically meaning as you run past them, they're going to take a swing at you. Okay, so... You probably don't want to do that. (laughs) You can either let that happen, or you... Don't and you don't have. So my only so my only option is like somewhere safer. Is that what you're saying? Or don't move. That's at not all. what I'm saying. All I want to know, all I'll, I'll get across to you is that that there, what what happen if you do what you wanted? You can what? run past this guy. He gets to make an attack against you. He yeah. may miss. He may not. Yeah, Haley, you get to choose, like, if your character's, like, a protective nature, then maybe they'd be willing to risk the attack to go, like, you know, save the kid. But if not, you know, they might just be like, okay, save my own skin. Exactly. And this is only your first move. Like, this was, your first move was to look around and notice the princess. You're going to get another move after we all move, but, like, it's up to you if you feel like you would do it immediately or if you'd wait for a moment and then collect yourself and attack. Yeah. Since nobody else notices that she's there, I'm not. At least gonna, not yet. Okay, I'm not gonna. I I recognize that she's there, but I'm not like making any sudden movements that way. Because I'm, I'm hoping nobody else notices yet. Okay, and cool. you might know. You probably know that this is princess. Okay, so you know that she'd probably be dressed right. <laughs> like a princess. So are you gonna move at all, or are you just gonna come stay put and see what everyone does? Yes. All right. Okay. So then, next in the order is going. To be uh, Lexi. <laughs> Mary Jane. <laughs> um, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. No, wait, can I see my father? Like, can I tell he's alive or is he dead? You can spend an action to do a, a medicine check to see if he's alive or not. Could I just yell to him to see if he responds to me? I'll tell you right now. <laughs> his eyes are closed. And okay. you... If not dead, he's definitely unconscious. He's, he's right next to you, too, so you can kind of tell that he's not <clears throat> responding got to you. three arrows in him, right? Mm-hmm. He had three arrows in his back. Okay. Then I'm going to say that I would jump back and then cast my sacred flame spell on the, on the guy in front of me, the one that's like 10 feet in front of me. Okay, so you're going to stand up and do. Are you hard? You stood up. You're with cast sacred. I'm gonna jump back. Gonna There's move. like. Okay, so you can only move maybe like five feet back, and then you hit the wall. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so you're gonna move up to the wall or back to the wall? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, then, I think sex save. Uh, it's a saving throw. A dex save, yeah. A dex save. Uh, they get a, a mat 20. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. So they're going to succeed. Um, if you have a bonus action or if you want to do another movement, um, you can, or else you can um, pass your. Wait, so what just happened? So <laughs> you cast the spell and it he dodged came it? down and he dodged it. Okay, got it. In okay. fact, he dodged it so well. You're kind of in awe. You're like... <laughs> You're shook right now. Mary Jane is like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, uh, yeah could I go back towards the door then? Yes. Okay. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm in fact. You, 
program. You can actually make it all the way to the to my Okay, yeah, then I'm gonna go <laughs> to the door. <laughs> okay. And then that's your turn. Um, next is uh, uh, Gabe. Um, so I'm at the like entrance door, right? And I can see in and all that. Yes. Stuff. So I want to um, step into the room and like move like forward and probably if I Mary Jane run towards the door, then I'm probably gonna step around her and face. So she's run the right side of the door, okay. um, and it's like a large double door. The entrance is probably like ten feet wide. So like, there's plenty of space for you all to like line. Okay. So yeah. So I want to step into the door, but I don't want to move too far into. Okay. I want to uh, target. Let's see. So there's the guy that she tried to hit, which is over to the right, right? Right. And the three other guys. Is there anyone that's like, like, I know there's someone close to Patrick, right? Or to Halt? Yes, there's one across from Halt. There's three in front of the throne and across from where Mary Jane was. So not knowing Halt at all, I would have no idea if he's a capable fighter over so that I can get a bead on the guy that's in front of him. Okay. And I want to cast... So um, you're still kind of in the door, what, correct? Yeah. Like, I've... I've, I've in how far across is this room? Um, across, maybe 40 feet, but to the archers, it's 30. Okay. But to yeah. this man that's in front of Halt, it's only 20 feet in front. Okay. I and I will mention that Gresh is standing directly. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm actually gonna move a little closer. Okay. And How much I want, closer? Like five feet I want or get, less? I want to get ten within ten feet okay. of him. And then I want to cast poison spray. Okay. Is that a saving? Uh, yep, Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. That is a 18. And I'm pretty sure that succeeds. I'm almost positive it does. I would be, I would be shook if somehow it didn't. Okay. Is, uh, is that a straight line? Okay, cool. So it doesn't hit halt. No. Do you have any other movement interactions that you can do? Uh, yeah, so, so I have a, a little bit of movement left. Um, oh, five feet to the right. Five feet to the right? Yep. Next in the order is uh, Demaya. I bet. Um, I'm going to take like two steps out so that I'm like in the middle of the doorway instead of like half hiding behind a door. And then I'm at this point, I've I had my longbow drawn, so I'm gonna start shooting arrows at one of the um, one of the archers in the middle. Let's just go with the middle the one. Middle the middle archer sounds good. Okay, so you're gonna just shoot a. Yeah, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna let an arrow fly. Okay, so roll that in the distance. All right, what do I got? One. I got a one d eight plus one damage. Well, no, you're gonna roll. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. I skipped ahead, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's one. Oh shit! What's my hit dice? Oh my! It's a one d ten. One d twenty plus my hit modifier, or what? Yeah. So like the middle of your character sheet, for it shows your longbow. It'll say yeah, plus three plus for hit. Something to hit. A sixteen. Yes. That's gonna hit. Sweet, and now my 1d8, one 1d8 one plus 1. Good old 4 damage. <laughs> okay. All right, do you do anything else? Um, and then I'm going to, like, step back so that I'm, like, again, like, ha I can still see in, like, kind of, like, half covered by the door. Okay. And then next in the order is going to be my figure. So the figure 
that is across from Halt is going to rush up to Moash because he attacked him. And he's going to swing at you with his short, his scimitar. I said swords earlier, but they all have scimitars. No. Okay. And so that is going to be a 14. Does that hit? Nope. Okay. So next is going to be one of the archers, the one on the left. Shoot an arrow at. Um, he's going to shoot an arrow at the. Shot an arrow at his buddy. <laughs> so at Demire. Okay. Um, that's going to be a 21. 21. 21. 21. I'm assuming that hits, so I'm going to roll that. <laughs> okay, I have a question about my armor class. So I'm not wearing any armor, and I don't have my shield. So what would my base... You get 10 plus your dex. Right? 10 plus your dex, 30 modifier. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> so usually like 11 or something. I'm naked with a sword. <laughs> Basically. Um, well, no, you're wearing noble. He's an infant wielding a sword, Chris. Is my half okay. coverage with this door gonna help me at all, Chris? <laughs> no, he rolled a he rolled a twenty one. No. <laughs> um, I assume your AC is not higher than twenty one. No. Plus two. <laughs> um, okay, so that you're gonna take four points of damage. How many? Four. Four. Okay. And then the middle yeah. archer's gonna go, and he's going to shoot at you as well. But he only rolled a nine. Does that hit? Nope. And then the next archer, the last archer boy on the right, is going to also shoot. Um, actually, no. This boy, are you on? Did you kind of hide beside the left side of the door or the right side? Of the door? I was imagining the right side, so this guy's probably going to have trouble hitting me. <laughs> right. So he's probably not going to go ahead and aim at you, and he's going to aim hulking dragon boy. <laughs> Love that. And he's gonna roll a thirteen. Does that hit? I don't know. Uh, what's your armor class? So your armor class is an eleven. So that's eleven. Gonna hit. Yeah. So that's gonna hit. So that's gonna hit. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and you're gonna take five uh -oh. points of damage. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That? Yeah. Me? So you can see where you can move that little thingy in the top right corner. What? Where it says max like, HP and current HP. To the yeah. left, there's a thing where you can like type a five. Type a five in that and then click on the damage thing. And it should. Love that for me. So now it should say six of a little. Okay. We are off of that. But... And then last is going to be the other figure, the one that was on the right side. He's going to rush up to. Um, D, 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 that's that. <laughs> and he's going to try, try to hit you with his silk scimitar. Good thing I have a scimitar. <laughs> he rolled a 16, so that's also good. That's a hit. That's a hit. And that's yeah, so <laughs> he, he rolled a three, so take three more points of damage. Oh my gosh. And that's... I'm done with three. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, next is going to be Ver. Uh, what's your name? Verzik. So Verzik, you haven't. You're not the entrance to this corridor. Yeah, I'm like across the hall, right? Right. I'll say that it takes you forty. I'll say it takes you thirty. I, I I'll say it takes your whole movement. Yeah, I'd go for it. I'd use my whole movement to get like into the door to see what all this commotion is. Right. Just, I'm like, I've already seen a person like come out the door screaming. I've seen multiple people, and I saw. Yeah, you ran past people who were screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then I'm definitely going. Um, um, not very many people because they killed most of the people on the. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe two or three people. To door. me, it seemed like a lot of people that have come out because I have no idea what's going on. So I'm like, there's people screaming. So you get directly to the doorway, and you don't really have time to take stuff through. If you want to do an action, um, you I think, can. I think my guy would just, I think he'd be at the doorway so he could see in, and then he would uh, cast mage armor. Then? 
go. Too many drummers to cast one of my spell slots. All right. And next is going to be Halt. All right, so the one that was in front of me ran all, all the way to Moab. Correct. And then, so the close, how far were the archers from me? The archers are the 15 feet. Like run into each other? Yeah. Well, yes, but the, the, they're in a lot. But, like, you could run up to the, the one that's on the left more quickly. Will I be able to maneuver and have the one that has an arrow in him? Uh, oh, what, Haley? Who's checking dice? Who's, oh, I'm clacking dice. Yes, I am. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, Clickety um, clack. Because yeah, I'm not really paying attention to the chat much. So yeah. you yell at me if you're trying to talk to me. Uh, halt, you're going to try to see some the you could try. He's the one that's in. I don't like that. All right, I'm just running to the one closest to me in the far left, and I'm just dual wielding. Well, uh, not dual. But I'm two handing my long sword running right at him. Okay, roll. Roll to hit. Twenty-two. Wow. That hit. Uh, um, roll damage. <laughs> seven. All right, so he's going to take seven points of damage. All right, next. Or Patrick, do you have any other things that you can do or want to do? Uh, not this it. All right, so then next in the order is going to be um, and just to remind you, Griselda is the other druid that is part of Dazzle's druid. She was with Dazzle. Um, Griselda is going. Um, Griselda is going to pull out a a boomerang that has a blade on either end. Sick. And she's going to throw it. At the center archer. Tell me out, Sid. And Griselda. She rolled a 20, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. Not a nat 20, but a 20. Um, and so, let me find the dice. Okay. So that's going to be. So she's going to throw this boomerang at this guy, Archer in the middle, and it's going to stick right, and then he's going to fall over dead. Perfect. All right, and now we're back to the top of the order. Yeah. And that's going to be you, Dazzle. Okay, so major regrets after the first round. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to, wait, who's closest to me? An enemy? Yeah. Um, well, the one that came up and attacked you. Oh, okay. so like, on me, basically. He's literally right in front of you. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is attack with a, uh, I don't know. Um, you can pull out your <laughs> star. Like, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. Um... Can I? So when it says self on range, what is it? It means it's it's probably a spell, and it, it means you cast it on yourself. Are you looking at? Is my produce flame on my attack? So produce flame, you produce the flame, and then you have the option to also throw it to make an attack. But oh. that's going to be a ranged attack, and because he's right in front, it's going to give you disadvantage, and basically. Oh, yeah. Disadvantage means you roll the dice twice and you take number, which means you're gonna have like a harder time succeeding. Um, oh, I see at the bottom it says press weapon. Okay, um, I'm gonna do simple part. Okay. So that means I roll the dice and then add five. So yeah, so roll the d20 plus five. That's your um, modifier. Yeah, d20. 
Yeah! <laughs> okay, so that's a 20 that's gonna hit. So now you're gonna roll damage, and that's gonna be a d6 plus yeah. 3. Okay. So that's eight points of yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And uh, you don't have any bonus actions, so mm -hmm. unless you want to try to, move, I would recommend it because it would get an opportunity attack against you. Oh, um, I, I just, like, what if I move? I can't move like back in the door. No, you're engaged in a fight with somebody, like the guy's right in front of you. If you tried to move away with him without making the disengage action, okay. you, he would attack you as you walk, ran away okay. or whatever. I so, sorry, you can just but it's an action, so like he would he wouldn't be able to attack you disengaged. Perfect. All right. So next in the order is going to be uh, Mary Jane. Okay. How far am I from Haley? Uh, fifteen feet. Dazzle. Dazzle. Oh, good old razzle dazzle. Oh no. I'm so sorry, you moved all the way to the door, didn't you? Yeah, she's like right yeah. with us. So you're literally right next to, like, maybe okay. five feet, five, okay. but then I'm less gonna, than five feet. I'm going to use her, right, pretty bad? Uh, yeah, you've seen her take an arrow and uh, a sword flat. Okay, uh, um, her three wounds, three more heads of blood. Cure wounds spell. Ooh, okay. a healer amongst us. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I'm not used to this level of good D&D play. A healer who knows how to heal? <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> it's in shambles. Much appreciated. Dude, Demaya's taking notice. Like, <laughs> uh, Demaya read the book. How to make friends and heal people is a very popular book. <laughs> no, she. <laughs> how to how to make friends is all she got through. She only made it halfway through the book, actually. That's why she only has an acquaintance, not a real friend. I rolled an eight. All right, so Haley, type an eight in that little box and then click on eight. Damn! Yeah. That should bring Thank you up you. to full health. Yes, Ooh. I'm back in business. Me now. Lexi, was there anything else that you wanted to do? Um, I'm going to continue out the doorway. You're going to continue out the door? Yeah. GTFO. Okay. <laughs> like, like you're running away or you're just standing outside? The door? Like I'm cautiously backing up. <laughs> She's using Dazzle as a human shield. <laughs> hey, to be fair. She buffed her shield. Now it's time to use it. I just I'm going to be paranoid as Fuck. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Chris, she's good out there. Come on. <laughs> yeah, good yeah, thanks. <laughs> I did my good deed. I healed Dazzle. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> next. You're like, good luck, sweetheart. As you like <laughs> so next in the order is going to be Gabe. Okay, so <clears throat> I have the guy that came up and hit me, right? He, uh, uh, did he connect or did he try to hit Or he tried to hit me, yeah. Okay. okay, so I want to. Hmm, what do I want to do? I want to cast. I'm going to do it. Burning Hands. Okay. That's a 15 foot cone. Is that right? Yeah, so I, actually, yeah, before I do that, <laughs> let's clarify. What, what is directly behind that I would be like potentially burning? Okay, let me calculate. You moved within 10 feet of him, and then yeah. so that means this is 10 feet. If that was 20 feet, then that, that is 20 feet. No, you would only get perfect. So let's do it. Uh, dexterity save. Okay. It rolled on a corner. Hold on. 11. Negative. So he fails it? How much damage does he take? He's going to take, oh, oh, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that little giggle. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got it anyway. Kill him. He takes 14 damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wrecked. Wow. Okay. So you burn this fucker to a crisp. How does <laughs> he know? Yeah. He is. He's not just medium rare. He is well done. You know. You guys know that that uh, I don't even remember what movie it's from, but but the clip of the fence, and then it's just like he blows it apart, and the skeleton's just like left there hanging on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Right. It's just some hot ass. It's white flame. Exactly. All right. All right. So did you do you do anything else now on your turn? Uh. You have your full movement. That's it. Okay. okay. So then it's going to be uh, Demaya. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we got two archers left and one swordsman to the right. Not to mention our friend behind the curtain. The Wizard uh, of Oz. Yes, the swordsman to the right that was in the doorway. Oh, yeah, he's right in front of us, huh? Combat with Dazzle. Okay. Uh, he's right in front of us. Then I'm going to... Um, I already loosed an arrow, so at this point all I'm holding is my longbow. I'm actually, he's like, he's right in front of me, pretty much. I can step out and actually, would he see me? Does he see me? Yeah, they know you're there. Dang it. Okay. Um. All right. I'm going to take out my dagger and I'm going to try to knife this boy in his ribs. I'm just going to step out and try to get him. Okay. Um. All right. Let me throw. Whoa. What do I got for this one? Still a plus three. Okay. All right. Wait. 1d20. <laughs> Please, please. Plus three. There we go. Fifteen. Uh, that's it. Okay, and now damage with my dagger. Uh, one d four. I promise I'm gonna get this down. Oh, two. A measly two. Okay, so. This guy's taking damage already, and as you stab him, he uh, kind of like grabs your as the knife goes into his chest, and then falls into your dead. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Can I take my like the rest of my movement to like pull my knife out of him? Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna pull my knife out and then step back to my little half cover in the doorway. Okay. Next in the order is going to be the remaining two figures so the first um is the one that you ran up and attacked uh halt um he's going to drop his short bow and pull out his dagger and try to hit you with his dagger shit. he rolled at 12. Yep. all right so he's gonna roll damage for that nice eleven. Uh, that's four points of damage. I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Stabbed on. It got stabbed. Pretty good day. It's been a great <laughs> day. Um, and now the other archer, it's his turn, and the other remaining archer, he is going to do some Okay. To uh, loose another. Actually, no. With the proximity to hold, to pull out um, his dagger and rush up, stab halt as well. Bring it on, big girl. <laughs> oh uh, no. That's a sixteen. Oh. That also did. Um, and a five point of damage. Oh my god. Oh Dude, no. That's dead. I'm dead. You're dying. Are you still good? I'm good. Oh. Okay. So next in the order is going to be Bear. Bear. I'm just going to call you Bear. God, it's fine. Very wary. Uh, so I got to say, I was in the doorway and I saw, I saw, uh, I saw Moab, Ash, Casper, and I know that spell. And I want to do it too, so badly, so, so badly. So do you have? Oh, <laughs> no! Whatever it takes to get me into the spot where I can cast it, not hitting the people that I've seen attacking what looks to be the bad guys. I really thought he was about to just burn Halt to the ground. The most so, handsome, dashing young man with the sword. Of I, 
I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's gonna be impossible for you to cast it without also getting this. Yeah. Oh, God. So there's no angle I could, you know, even if I take an opportunity attack, there's no way I can get the two. So Halt is standing right next to, or like facing one of them, and then the other one has come up on his, not his flank, but like his side. Like dang, banging um, me with a. But like, he's in between you and Halt, and then the other one's to the right. And then for you to run all the way to the left side for the near movement. Um, so or, there's not really a way for you to get it. I'm going to say there's not going to be a way for you to measure out exactly 15 yeah. feet. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. I'm not going to be able to say, like, oh, 15 foot cone, here's the, here's the angle. Exactly. So you're not uh, going to be able to do this without also getting this. But if I cast, do I hit both of the enemies? Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Some of us have I to take have sacrifices. To I, I have to say, I do think I would at least go for it. <laughs> oh my Amazing. God. This is going to be a thorn in Holt's side for the entire campaign. Fire. There's no okay. fire. I don't know any of you. <laughs> I look like a dashing young. Woman. Do it. Cast it. Okay. Okay, so are you going to run up a little bit and then, like, to where you're closer and then cast the spell? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say you probably run within 10 feet, maybe, because you want to make sure you get... Uh, I want to make sure I get the bad guys. Yeah. Um, or what so... I, what I uh, distributed bad guys, because I've seen this combat from what I... I don't know what caused this fight. Is his right, cone so going to reach the balls. curtain? You get to make a dexterity save. Nice. I rolled a 13 and a 23 for mine to the 13th. I died. Oh! They both, they both saved. I'm dead. A 13 Literally. saves? Uh, it's, it says, uh, I mean, on my character sheet, it says 12 is my dex, is the dex. Oh, so you only have a plus two. I have a, I have a plus four. I don't know why it says. Is this, I have a plus four to intelligence. Game for the indie going is that wrong. Okay, then I have a plus four, so it's a 15 in DC. Yeah, so, so then the 13 is not safe. I mean, a 14. It's a 14. Roll your damage. I'm already uh, dead. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, 3d6. Did you fail the next day? Oh, uh, yeah, he did. I rolled a 3. <laughs> only yeah. 10 damage when you in trip, right? Only 10? <laughs> you actually, you actually. Completely killed my character with a good roll. Yeah, that's a good roll. Yeah, ten is a good roll. Uh, so Chris, I think you would have like, half, right? If you would have rolled a fifteen, you would have completely outed my character. Okay, okay. So Andrew, you, you've completely killed both of these characters and almost killed Patrick. So what do we see as you cast it? Uh, uh, I think I yell. I, bro, I, you just see like a. You just see, like, the, in through the doorway, this, like, giant half-orc who, like, you assume would come in running, a, carrying, like, a sword or, like, a blade, some sort of, like, barbarian, but instead he just opens his hands and yells, uh, take a card, and it's, like, volcano of fire as it vaporizes. Patrick, almost. Okay, so these two footed figures, all the enemies are dead. Mm. <laughs> no, I got like 50 health left. We <laughs> Halt is lying on the ground dying with half of his body burnt. Um, what do you all do? Hold up. Don't, uh, wouldn't there still be homie behind the curtain? I'm probably going to say like, hold up. We still got, we've still got a man missing. <laughs> you are all out of combat right now. Um, so feel free to do what you want to do in this room. Uh, oh, I can't do anything. Never mind. But uh, Holt is down. Um, I, do, I do think I would run up to the guy that if, I hit. And I'm going to say, if he's not brought back with the death, I definitely think my character, I definitely think I'd run up to that guy at least. Okay. Know? What do you. Uh, I'd probably make a. Well, I know he's down, so I think it'd be a, wouldn't it be a medicine check to see if my state could stabilize? I forget if I need a medicine kit or something for that. We have two clerics. Uh, is my character 
so close enough to like see so we're out of combat, so you can kind of run anywhere you want. I would probably yeah. ask. I would ask good old MJ to heal me up because <laughs> she's right next to me. I would run over to my dad and like check on him if he's alive. Oh yeah, okay, damn so her dad. Roll your medicine check. Her poor dad. Let's see. Okay. I've got a plus zero to medicine. 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 Well, I have a plus two to wisdom, so I don't know. I have a plus zero. Maybe the other be. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, I have a plus two to wisdom, so I feel like I should have plus two to madness. I agree. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I really don't know. This is weird. Okay, whatever. We'll do 1d20 plus two. Yeah, it should be plus two if you have any wisdom, luckily. Uh, well, five. So I have literally, I just go, ooh, ooh bad burn. Sorry, you, bud. You try <laughs> to, like, give him CPR, and you, as you're blowing into his mouth, you have not covered his nose, so all the air is oh. coming out of his nose. Oh. Right, so my hands are still hot for the burning hand spell. I'm doing worse. Oh. Uh, okay, Lexi, you said you've run to your dad. Yeah, I went. Roll a medicine check. I'm going to do that. Uh, a D20 plus here. And then while you do that, does anybody... Patrick, First, um, I think at this point I'm probably gonna make my way in and start. I want to. I want to move to the. You said this. This place is thirty feet, so I can make it to the curtain. I want to make it to the curtain Chewing and pull it behind. <laughs> uh, oh no. Okay, Lexi. Um, you check your father's pulse. Um, <laughs> he might be dead. He might not. You don't feel anything, um, and in fact, as you kind of get closer to him and you're checking his pulse and maybe you're putting your ear closer to his face, um, you feel him breathe out his final breath. Ooh, you hate to see it. Wow. What the fuck? This is fucking dark, Chris. Um, hey, you don't want to say because they have a happy life. Just saying. Chris, put the mic down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so uh, Demaya is running toward the curtain. Um, what is Moash doing? Um, Moash is going to check on his work. On Gresh? Yeah. Okay. See if you can grab the work if he's alive. Uh, Gresh is alive. No, he's just chilling behind you. Uh, he didn't throw his calculator, his abacus at the floor. Yeah. No, he didn't attempt to do that. Uh, Can I like uh, pull the curtain is, aside? So no, not yet. Uh, what type of curtain? Dazzle, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what am I doing. Um, <laughs> You're fully I'm healed. Fine. You have no worries. <laughs> well, that's the thing is, like, I can't heal him because I, I don't have anything to heal him. And you can stabilize him. Yeah, yeah. So Run up to him and roll him medicine. Okay. I can do that. Um, also, Lexi has a lot of abilities that would allow her to bring Patrick back. Um, okay, so I'll roll a and medicine Patrick, check. You, Chris, do you only roll like a death thing throw oh, like every time they try to stabilize me? Uh, sure, do that. Roll a, roll a <laughs> dot. A, okay. He already has one well, they should roll for me. My that's, first attempt. No, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. Andrew, you failed, so Patrick, roll a death thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Pass that. All right. So now, Dazzle, do a medicine check. So oh, wait. wait, what was the, oh, pause? What was the death saving roll? I'm confused. It, it's pat. So basically, a death saving throw is when you're down. So basically, your HP goes to zero. You're not dead. You're oh. down, or you're unconscious, or something. But until you're stabilized, you have to roll um, death saving throws to see if you die. Uh, normally, after combat, you're kind of like assumed to be automatically stabilized, but I like this better. <laughs> what number do you have to roll to? Be it's alive? your med. Uh, oh, you have okay. to roll. A you get three rolls, and you have to roll either three rolls that are above a ten, and then you live, or you can roll uh, a nat twenty. Uh, if you roll a nat twenty, I think you're automatically stabilized. Yeah. And then if you roll below a ten then it's a fail, and if you roll three fails, you die. If you roll one fail and then one critical fail, you critical fail counts as two fail. 
Wait, how much did I heal Haley? Is she like completely healed? Haley yeah. was completely healed up. Okay, yeah. cool. So I rolled a 17 for a medicine check. You stable up both the door. Perfect. I'm going to say that you probably, in your druidic ways, knew of a way to bring him back to away from the light. Yeah, she saved you know she saved the buddy from a forest fire in a past life, so she knew how to <laughs> well exactly. Um but he's not awake. He's still unconscious. He's just stable. Um he could be healed to become conscious. Is this where you this is Patrick, right? Hold. Yeah. Or you okay. can leave him there and go on. Okay. Yeah, so I'll go, I'll cast my, my cure wounds. Okay. And as you do that, um, the princess, who you all might have heard one of the tables. Yep. Um, she's going to step out from um, under the table. And, uh, okay, so you healed, you cast cure wounds, how much does it heal? Uh, I told that. Well, yeah, my cool. Me. Uh, so, the princess. I go was, seven. She was being <laughs> kind of quiet, but now she's kind of. Uh, she's crying, obviously, and she's saying, "We, we have to get to the gods." We. So she's like hyperventilating, almost. Uh, She's just kind of like crying and saying, we have to get help. And, uh, uh. Can I run to my father? Sure. Can I check behind the curtain yet? <laughs> yes, Adri, you guys can go behind the curtain. It bothers me too much to not know if that motherfucker is behind the curtain. Yeah, I go did see this guy go behind yeah, the curtain. Yeah, so can I like pull it open or like do I have to go behind it? I want to go toward the princess. Tell me what's behind the curtain. <laughs> uh, there is a corridor behind the curtain. Oh, damn it. Chris. <laughs> yeah. When Moash was entering with Gresh, uh, did he see, like, guards as he walked in through the, like, main entrance? So into that main entrance, there were the guards, yep. And yet the guards aren't here and didn't respond at all. That's probably. It's a coup! The guards, the guards that were in front of the door to this to this chamber did rush in. They got oh, wrecked. The, oh, man. They, they got wrecked. They're dead. You can see them dead on the ground. And, and I, would have, I would have noticed, like, other guards that I thought would have been within hearing it. You wouldn't know. Okay. In fact, the palace is guarded, but Daromar has never been under attack. Right. Um, not at, at least in any of your lifetimes. Okay. Um, in fact, like, like the last war Jeremar was in was over a century ago. Uh, Chris, I've s my since my character has seen war before. I'm like, I know that people are like trying to get it together behind me, but I want to roll a perception check to know if I can s sense anything down that corridor. Right. Give me just a second, Adrian. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, Griselda is actually going to um, rush up to the princess and she's going to say we'll, we'll we'll get the guards um, Dazzle there was a man he ran behind the curtain did you see yeah. <laughs> I think that's such an passion character acting yeah. <laughs> um, I think that, that we should go after him but I can take care of the if you want to do that. <laughs> she says, I, she says I, I, I think we need to go after him. It'll take too long for the guards to get here. I, I can take care of the princess if you want to go after him. All right, so I start running. So, <laughs> running? <laughs> 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 
tells like Garrish, you stay here. Like, make sure that you're safe. If you can find the guards, do it. Otherwise, just keep yourself out of danger. Obviously, whatever supernatural shit was going down that we came here to ask about, about is real. Um, to Thur, so, or what, uh, what's that there? That year, sorry. Right. Daromar Dar- is the city. Dar- okay. Yeah, has reached Daromar. So I want to figure out what's going on, and I start moving towards the back curtain. Oh, uh, uh, Gabe, I, w- I do want to mention that um, this is not the same kind of supernatural stuff that you are have seen in um, Belen, your city. Gotcha. I still think I would run with that same type of logic. Okay, so basically, Griselda is going to take the princess and probably Gresh, and they're going to rush, run to go find some guards, um, leaving the six of you to do what yeah. you want to do. I think I would go, I think Berzik is just, uh, he hears like the talk about behind the curtain, and he's just kind of, he's down, he's just kind of like going for it. I was going to tell you, the reason I, so like, because Griselda and I, are so close like when she says that uh, like i just automatically do what she says because i trust her enough that that would be the right thing to do okay so i like i go toward i'm like running toward the court and maybe halt and mary jane are uh, I, don't know, I don't know what shade of grief you're in but i would assume that anger is the first ones right yeah, yeah i'm gonna run to my father and then knowing he's dead <laughs> i've seen a lot of People die. I should close his eyes and tell him, and be like, I will avenge you and run straight to the curtain. I saw him run back there, so I was like, right. Okay, so does everybody run to the curtain? Chris, yeah. there's it. Yeah, there's yeah. It definitely thinks this is like, but you know how I took the test, it was a written portion. I oh my god. You think like this is from the test? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. Hold on. So I'm already <laughs> at the. Yes. Yeah, so I'm already at the curtain. I think I'll, like, put out a hand real fast and just be like, hold on. Like, before, like, we, we got to check, like, what the hell's going on here. So I want to roll a perception check just to see if I can tell if there's anything weird going on or if I can hear anything, like, down the corridor, just to try to give us a leg up before we rush into who knows what's going on. I would say... Okay, so of- as you do that, uh, I'm going to take a bath. <laughs> I would say Halt would probably just keep running because his dad just died. (laughs) He can't hear anything. (laughs) While you guys were figuring out, like, stuff (laughs) already in the corridor, so I'm going to let her make her perception check. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. She's been wanting to know so bad. I really do. I want to know if I can tell if there's (laughs) anything going on first. Because there was literally a giant, like, portal thing that opened. Uh, I think the guy ran back and, like, Right back into the board. Oh, a nat 20. Thank you very much. She can smell his footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> she smells they haven't bathed in three and a half days precisely. She smells burnt chicken as Halt runs by. And you know, like, like half of my like trousers are burnt, like it's like one buck cheek. They're tasteful asses, chef. Your AC actually went up. Somehow? Yeah. He's, no, his charisma went up. He's hard to find. Hard to find. He's just shooting for a lot of fire. Um, well, Chris isn't here, but I'm definitely I'm definitely on board with... Uh, I'm here, you guys are just almost done. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, I'm, I'm, with a nap 20, here's what happened. So, you parted the curtain to look behind, and you see a corridor, right? Yep. Um... And it's not like it's like lit, and um, it's lit. They have like streamers, and like <laughs> like you can see it through it. But I'm gonna say at the foot of the curtain, um, so at the very bottom, as you part it, you see a small stone-like gem. Okay. Um, do you pick up? Um, I'm scared it of it. Is um Do, like can i tell if it's dangerous like <laughs> you don't have a way of knowing that okay it doesn't look like it's like emanating any you know what i mean like it doesn't okay um, it's not, it's not then like red. yeah then i probably would pick it up 
and like because I've stuck my hand out, so like I'm hoping that the group will like take a pause and I'll like uh -huh. uh, yeah, not not halt, but like you know, um, I'll pick up the stone and like basically just like hold it out to everyone to try to get their attention and be like, Any anybody know what this is? <laughs> okay, so, so this is um, it's a small black and purple jet. Um, there's nothing. Um, there's no other characteristics to it. Um, it's just that, um, could I do an arcana check to see if I could, like, recognize this as, like, a component to a spell? Oh, or okay, something? so, like, I'm going to say you can, can do that, but right now, I think that you guys are going to continue. I mean, you tell me. But I think that Demaya and probably Halt and, and them are, are going to try to continue to run behind the curtain, like, maybe Demaya pockets. Oh, I mean, maybe you don't, but... Uh, I just put my hand out and, and just say, uh, like, toss it here. Let me look at it. Okay. So I probably would, like, toss it over to him and then continue to, like, make my way down the corridor with... Unless, like, Chris, was there anything else I was supposed to pick up? Did I... Could I sense anything else going no, on? With your perception check, you don't see anything else of note. And okay. I'm going to continue to use this perception check as you guys go down the corridor, as long as Demaya is in the lead. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to, like, toss him the stone and I'm going to continue forward and then... I probably want to mention the fact that, like, I'm I'm still kind of hurt. Like, I'd probably... I'm not going to admit weakness, but I'm going to be like, I took a couple hits, just be ready. Um, so. I'm, like, right next to her, like, shoulder, shoulder. Okay, well, we'll say she's still kind of in front of you. <laughs> just so we get my perception. <laughs> yeah, because you can keep that perception. <laughs> so, Demaya, you're running through the corridor, and you guys get to a point to where it tees off. Um... But with your perception check, you notice a, a small, like, difference in the, like, I don't know, I guess, I guess on the left side, you don't really notice, um, you just see another corridor, but on the right side, you see that it's, like, slightly brighter and you're going with your gut instinct that the right side is the way to go. Okay. Like, maybe it's a little bit brighter because there's a door at the end that's open. Okay. In fact, like, as you rush around, like, it kind of curves around. You do see that there's a doorway open. And you walk in to... Um, uh, you walk into the store, and you end up in a small room. And the scene before you is this. The, the hooded figure um, is holding a book standing over a dying man, um, the same one from earlier, uh, as Holt will um, notice, um, the same one who left before these guys came. Okay. Um, the hooded figure then pulls out a small crystal, smashes it in his hand, Opening another portal behind him. Oh that my he gosh! Through and disappears. Motherfucker. Um, what, what happened you... to the? Did the elf guy go with him, or did he stay there and die? No, the elf is lying on the floor. I'm running straight to him. So is that okay. something that, like, I I would perception check again? You can roll a perception check if you want. I'm probably going to like stop in the doorway. I'll let Halt move forward. And then at this point, now that I know that like no, I, cause he's gone, right? There's nothing we can do. It's just a dead dude in a room. Yes. Okay. Then I'm probably just going to stand there and let anyone else move forward. And I'm going to try to catch MJ's attention. Cause I need some healing. <laughs> I'm a, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, damn it. Wait, so he is dead. No, uh, he's yeah. dying. I'm gonna run up to him and like kneel before like slap him a little bit. See if he's like, <laughs> Do a little bop bop. Or is he like out of? Is he unconscious? He's not unconscious. Give me. So what he's gonna do is he's going to look up at whoever <coughs> came to him first, and all you're gonna hear him say. Um, and as he's talking, kind of coming out of his mouth, so it's like gar garbled. He's gonna say, "Needs the." Yeah, can't stop. Mustn't let. And then he died. So it needs the must stop. Can't let and die. So awesome. no information. 
Good stuff. Love what do you him. guys do? I'm searching his body. Okay, <laughs> roll and investigation. Okay. Good. I'm just searching around the library frantically looking for any sign of anything that could lead me to anything useful. 18. <laughs> 18. With an 18 um, investigation, the only thing that you, you find of note is in the man's clutched hand, um, there's a piece of parchment. Parchment. With, Pry it out of his cold, dead hands. <laughs> so if you open up the parchment, you see script, um, and it is an address 14 Ooh. dunce avenue west Derby. dunce is in stupid d-u-n-s-e oh okay <laughs> maybe it's what dunce. question this might not have anything to do with this what is a so what what and what is so so i use survival a survival uh, check would be a way to like if you're staying out in the wilderness and you need to gather food um, or or if, um, I don't know, there's not a I mean, yeah, that's a pretty good way to, for survival. That's about it. I would say. It'll be good if we ever start traveling. Okay. Um, if anybody else. Insight in this situation? Um, no. Is 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 your character saying that out loud, <laughs> Moash? Uh, oh, sorry. I think I should probably be the one to write that. What? Yeah. Is is this just being written down, or uh, is Moash okay. actually so saying this it? This is what's on the parchment. Got it. But only Gabe knows that at this point, right? right I mean, at this juncture. Yeah. Um, so. I'm gonna know. As you guys maybe are trying to investigate the room, or I'm not sure what, I mean, how long do you guys stay in here? I do like an investigation check to see if I see anything around the whole entire, like, library room that could be useful. Um, you can roll up perception. If it's for the whole room. I'm just like, I'm, I'm like walking around like, looking for, like, moving things, looking for anything that, like... A oh, secret yeah. passage. So an investigation check is a specific thing, and then a perception check would be okay. the room. I mean, that's fine. So, what, um, so what's what insight for when you get there? Insight is used um, if you're trying to discuss something. So whether that be someone's intent or oh, you want to see someone's lying. lying or not. Yeah. But it's okay. not always okay. used for like whether or not somebody lying about it could also be like you see somebody doing something and you want to see okay you roll an inside check to see okay maybe i can understand why they're doing it. got it okay chris can i go over to Haley and like check on her and kind of try to befriend her um i guess your dad did just die <laughs> yeah but i'm like alone now aren't i was anyone else with us i thought it was just me and my dad yeah i mean you have two older brothers back home Okay, but no one else there is with me, okay. right? Uh, <laughs> it's a small library. You see a bunch of books, but, but nothing that's standing out. Um, no and then, so at this point, you guys have been here so maybe, and inside the princess, you're going to hear people walking down the corridor, and the princess is going to walk uh, several guards, and she's going to ask, she's going to say, what, what happened? Did you get? And she's just like breathing heavily. Um, the other man, the other thing. Did you get him? Gone. We're all gone. Yeah, I want to step forward and say that he disappeared through another portal. But and the only thing that I have that could be a clue to anything is this piece of parchment that was in this man's hand. Okay, so you show her the parchment. Yep. Um, okay, so she looks at it and she goes, wh wh Where is this place? I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, she, uh, she gives it back to you and she's going to say, um, We'll have to figure that out. Uh, I, 
I would probably so step she, forward maybe and because I've lived here for three years maybe I might know where the address is I don't know um, you don't know the specific address but okay. you do know where Dunn's Avenue is okay so um, I probably would say so <laughs> um, so the, the princess is going to take a deep breath Um, okay. Go. I mean, because she's trying to struggle with the fact that she's now in charge. I um, want to ask her, do you know of any enemies that would want to do your mother harm or would want to have killed her? No, you know, you... there's no... We, we don't have enemies. We... We don't, I don't I keep messing up her accent. We we don't have enemies. We don't I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this. It's just I know that you guys do not work for me. I don't even know if you know each other. Mm. But I don't have anyone who do this for me right now. Could you go to this place and try to figure out what's happening? Um, I probably would say that I would if I can get some, like, assistance. Like, I'm gonna need- I literally just saw a dude disappear through a portal and we had to fight off, like, five people. I might need some weaponry, something to- to help me out here. <laughs> what can you provide, princess? Um, uh, princess, I- I don't know what you're I gotta get my fucking armor. <laughs> Chris, I, uh, Berzik is, uh, Berzik just asks if he, like, uh, he says, can I get a waiver for the... <laughs> yes, yes, can you go? Can you go now? Um, yes. Berzik's going to pull that back to the fact. Yeah, yeah, Berzik's super down. Yes. Will the okay. corners be near this place at all? I want to get my armor. You, uh, so you guys are staying I'm in this a, palace. I'm just going to say, I'm assuming that, like, we're going to run into more trouble, so I don't want to just run in there with freaking my ass she came out. <laughs> so you guys weren't staying in the palace. You guys would have been staying in one of the nice in town. Um, and that's probably where your armor is. I yeah, think... Bell the queen would be like, I, I will get my armor, and I will meet these people there. Okay, Patrick. Patrick, you do know that chain mail takes one hour to don. You know what? It's like a jumpsuit. You just run in it. It's <laughs> not, not <laughs> factually <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> yes, what Andrew said. That is factual. I think hearing um, hearing this boy complain that he doesn't have armor, I'd be like, Princess, do you have any? Can your soldiers give us something so we can get out of here and go? I just need a shield. Does anyone have a shield I can use? Yeah, so the thing is, like, they don't have, like, an armory necessarily because, like I said, they, have they haven't had a war in over a hundred years. You could literally, she, she goes, take his armor. <laughs> gonna be leather armor. Strip, bitch. Fine. I'll take leather armor and I'll take a shield, too. I think at this point I, like, address Griselda. Right? Prince right, Emma. so Griselda did come in with them. Yeah, so I would like confer with her and see what what the, what happened while they were gone. Uh, she just says that they went to go get the guards, um, and then came right back. Like they didn't do anything else in between. They didn't see any other hooded figures. Um, she says that on her way back, she uh, confirmed what she already knew that that's the Arc Druid is dead. Oh. <laughs> uh, Moash definitely said, "I hate mysteries as much as the next guy." So, I really want to know what just what the hell just happened here. I'm in. God, murder mysteries are the worst. <laughs> yeah, exactly. well, Priscilla yeah. and I are in because we have to avenge our our Drake's death. Um, I want to ask for a mate. Um. Um. So here, here's what I'll say. As you guys leave, 
you can raid the armory with the pitiful armory, I should say, and, and you can find the equivalent of what your basic weapons would be that you already have, and then you get you can have let it leather. Oh, what well, is if you start campaigns and not give me all my gear? But... <laughs> Chris, can I use leather armor? You are you proficient? Use leather armor, can you? Are you proficient no, in light armor? Uh, I don't think so. Check your proficiencies. What is, what is leather armor, Chris? Uh, light armor. Light. It's eleven plus your dex modifier. I don't think I'm proficient in any armor, Chris. I don't yeah, then you don't wear armor. Wizards yeah. don't typically wear armor. Yeah, you're right. All right, as we are, like, making our way out, grabbing things, I'm going to ask if there's anyone that can heal me up since we're about to go into battle again. <laughs> oh, um, I guess in the armory, uh, you can, maybe they, they hand you, like, a healing potion. Bet. Um, maybe they keep some on hand. Or maybe there's an infirmary where they give you a healing potion. Bet, bet. Spell slots. Do you want me to roll for it, Chris, or do you? are you going to give me? Um, is it just a 1d8? For me? For healing potion. I think Chris, so, right? Standard healing potion is 1d8. All right, cool. It's just 1d8, then it's sure it's, 6. All right. It's either 1d8 or 1d8 plus 2, I forget what it is. Thank you. Um, I guess I could look it up. Healing potion. It, it, it's 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. It's all wrong. <laughs> Robbed. <You> Bless. <laughs> We're good either way. I'm I'm both I'm good with both of those numbers. <laughs> okay. How about my potion of spell slots, Chris? How 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 are those looking? Spell slots are not gonna be recovered. Uh oh. That's unfortunate. Alright. Let's go. We're going in crippled. <laughs> I, I okay, guess. So, uh, so you, sorry, go for it. Mary Jane and for Hulk, you were able to get some leather armor and throw it on real quick. Um, Mary Ooh, Jane, you wanted to grab a mace, so you grabbed yeah. a mace. Hulk, you needed a shield, so you grabbed. Uh, Mary Jane, did you also want to grab a shield? Yeah. Can I grab a shield? Not is that something you're proficient um, in, Dazzle? So druids refuse to use metal shield. You I refuse! <laughs> you can't use a metal shield, right? Isn't that right? Cool. I, I don't. I think, yeah, I think I can only use this. Yeah, I think you can only use a wooden shield. Cool. Wait, so there's not any wooden ones? I wouldn't think that probably would not. Be probably not in an armory <laughs> in a castle. I mean, I don't know for sure. Against my belief to use metal. <laughs> it says here, druids will not wear or shields made of metal. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why you use a sword that's made of metal. That doesn't make any sense. It says so. You know what? I guess we don't know what whether. Well, but like, can I go like rogue druid? <laughs> Actually, so uh, this is the reason, um, and I think I've read this before. It's because it messes with your mag. Mm. Uh, don't want it. <laughs> the so the more unnatural the weapon or the armor is, like the harder it is for you to channel your. Cool. Anyway, because it's since it's like alloy metal or something, yeah. like steel is an alloy, right? Onward. All right, I guess. I guess Onward. we. I guess if I know the street, I probably would tell everyone, all right, I can get us close, but then we're going to have to wing it. Since literally no I one mean, knows where we are. I know where Dunn Street is. And yeah. Teen Dunn Street, so it's probably the teen building. All right. From the main street. Do they have house numbers in D and D? Yeah, there's probably addresses on the front. Otherwise, how would you know? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> All right, bet. 
that I'm probably going to tell everybody, like, I guess if you want to come, here we go. <laughs> Onward and upward. Okay. So, um, fast travel. <laughs> Love it. Because who needs exposition? Um, <laughs> we're going to say that at this point, it is approaching late afternoon. Does that sound about right? Yeah, late afternoon, maybe. Um, you've come to Dunn Street. You've found your way to Dunn Street, um, and you kind of wander around, wandered around enough to find this address. And it is a small bookshop. Uh, Interesting. From a library to a bookshop. Right. Oh, I'm too thing. Literature. So, do you guys go into the bookshop? I draw my sword and walk out of the bookshop. Can I do a perception check? Sure. Okay. I'm going to see if I can. I've, nobody hold their breath. I already used all my luck today. I was going to say I could do it. Plus yeah. three. Oh, I did pretty good. Yeah, uh, um, it's like not super red. Definitely not like the prime bookshop. Um, and you see kind of a, a you see a sign out front with uh, some of the letters not peeled off completely, but like starting to peel. And it says Auntie L's. Not very inventive. Um, inventive on the sign. That's kind of okay. no. Well, that's <laughs> Um, that was me. Open, right? You can try to open the door. <laughs> yeah. The door open. Oh. Oh, okay. I feel like, so like hand on weapon here. Okay. So you hear, um, oh, Patricia, we have customer. Oh, oh no. I can, and, I can hear the bell on the door. <laughs> a ring-a-ding. <laughs> yeah, there's a bell on the door that, that, um, it goes, ah, ding, ding. Your barrels. <laughs> and, and you hear, oh, Patricia, we have customers, um, from somewhere in the shop. And she, she goes, are you here for the new romance, romance novel by, um, Sarah Waters? Sarah Waters' is new romance novel? Um, I think. And then out from behind these bookshelves, you see a small elven woman, and she sees that you are all outfitted, what seems to be a battle, and uh, she drops the, the book that she's holding, and uh, she says, uh, oh! Oh. Uh, sorry, they were closed. And she uh, ducks behind uh, uh, a desk that's kind of to the side. Can, can I interject and like clap a hand on like Moash's shoulder and be like, he's here for the romance, but I'm here for, with questions. <laughs> there we go. Nice. I go, I go, I go look for the romance novel. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like displayed in the front. Perfect. It's, um, it says, uh, uh, da, on the fit to the, uh, an orc to die for. <laughs> oh my gosh! Read <laughs> um, all about his orc and. I think I'm gonna like whisper to like Mary. I'm assuming, looking at our group, that Mary Jane is gonna be like the cutest, like least intimidating looking out of all of us. So. Yeah, I also speak Elvish. So I probably would like whisper to her, like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna try to work some magic here." <laughs> Yeah, so I want to go up to her and start talking to her in Elvish. Um, no, no, we're closed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want My my guy just goes Queen Jen. Nope, here. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, and then I want to describe what? What? The, I want to describe the Elvish guy that died, and ask if she knows him. Okay, so do that. <laughs> okay. um, 
in Elvish, please. What did he? I don't remember what he looked like. Sorry. Um, he looked like an elf. Um, <laughs> a high elf. He was. Um, I, I don't know. You didn't really notice too much about him. I did. He had because you guys rolled shitty on your perception check. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. But what hair did he have? I like to know that. He was wearing a hat. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Like a fancy little. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait. Hat. I just want to. I'm gonna say. A, little, a fancy um, little wizard. There was an elf man who worked in the the castle. Um, he worked like closely with the royal family. Um, and he was like killed in battle. Do you know who he is? Oh, and he was oh, put in parchment paper, uh, with yeah, with the address to your bookshop. Do you know who he is or why he would have that address? Are are you are you talking about Duncan? Sure. <laughs> um, Duncan's dead. Oh shit. Yes. She began sobbing. Oh damn it. <laughs> My character's gonna start comforting her. Um, I, will live forever. I think my character would probably go sit like on the the counter and just wait and hope for the best. <laughs> I, I want to look around the, the bookstore to see if there's like like I'm basically investigating to see if there's like a back room or like some other section of the bookstore that, that would have made sense that we were like Okay. Um, What? There was like another lady that worked in the store. Oh, at the very beginning, she had yelled, "Patricia, <laughs> Patricia!" <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was Barbara. But you don't see another person. Someone could roll a oh. perception check. Yeah, um, I can do it. But like, I'm more looking around the shop than I am necessarily looking. Chris, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll go. Doing I'm doing it. it. Back then. <laughs> Dazzle's like, this is my time to shine. You guys can both do it. I got plus six. So I gotta use it. Holy fuck. Demaya's taking a breather. She feels like she had to carry carry the team on these perception checks. <laughs> what is this 19 that you rolled, Adrian? Huh? That was my uh, perception check when we walked up that you described the bookstore uh, okay. for me. So, Dazzle, um, looking around, it seems to be a modest. Um, and on top of one of the bookshelves, you see a tabby, uh, not a tabby cat, a calico cat. Mm. And you assume is probably Patricia. Ooh. I see. Okay, um, but I have animal handling with that. Ooh. Do you want to like, coax it down off of the book? Then roll an animal handling check? Like, can't I speak with animals or no? I think that's a spell. I don't think that's just an ability. Let me look at my spell. Okay. Well, this is happening. Can I look around the bookstore, Chris? The bookstore? The bookstore. Yes. Yeah, roll, <laughs> I guess roll of perception as well. I mean, I'll say this. Um, nothing seems to be like weird or out of place here. Um, it okay. seems... Okay. Can I, can I continue talking to her? Um, and like, yeah, I want to say like, I lost my father and like this fight and we're looking for the, uh, any clues who killed them. Um, like, can you tell me about Duncan, uh, anything about Duncan? Um, oh, I feared something like this might happen. It was Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> And Come on now. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Um, she says, uh, Duncan, uh, he's my brother. This was. Um, he was always interested in crazy arcane matters. That's why he became the court wizard. That he was always getting into stuff that he didn't belong in, searching for grand relics. And, uh, uh, I guess um, he, 
he he's been he's been searching for a series of artifacts yeah do you know what the current artifacts he was looking for were for or what they do I can't hear anything. Am I the only one? Did you die? We killed the end. We win. Yeah. For killing my dad, you asshole. She did. Patrick just went and stabbed Chris for killing his dad. <laughs> IRL. Game over. IRL. <laughs> this game has gone meta as fuck. <laughs> All right, now we get to take over. We get to do whatever the hell we want. I'll be back. I'm the DM now. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the DM now. How long was I gone? You were gone. Uh, I don't know. A while. Yeah. What was the last thing you heard? We heard you say that he was looking for a lot of artifacts. Yeah. And then I said, "Can you tell me more about the artifacts?" Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so he says uh, in all these books he's read, uh, they mention artifacts. They always speak of great power, but there's never anything specific written about them. No physical characteristics, no description of the powers that they uh, They're only ever referred to as the great relics. Just a few days ago, Duncan had run in here exclaiming that he thinks he may have found one of his relics. Um, <laughs> So she, so she begins crying harder. She goes, oh, you think that's my book? It's a big kill. They were looking for it. Um, do you know where the last book he was reading it? Um, she's sobbing, and she, like, tries to compose herself again. She goes, I, I don't know where he keeps his book. Can we look around his room? Do you know where he stays? So she, um without making you listen to that gross, sobby voice, <laughs> she tells you that um, he, he is the court wizard, so he lives in the palace. Okay. Um. I think we should go check out his room. I feel like there's got to be... We probably we should have asked the princess if yeah. she knew him. I, I agree. I think <laughs> that he wrote on a note to send us his address. I think there's something important here. Yeah, there's got to be something more here. I'm probably going to be like, one. hearing about artifacts, I'm probably going to be like, hey, romance boy, do you still have that rock that I gave you? <laughs> yeah, I, I pull it out of my pocket. Uh, if this looks familiar. Yeah, would the lady know? Would the lady think she's seen it before? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I sell fiction. I don't have tomes. I... Worthless. This isn't my area of expertise. Is, is there a, a section that uh, Duncan usually likes to hang out in, or is there anything like a specific author, anything that he looks at the most? No, these are all these are books for sale. Uh, his personal collection, I believe, should be in the palette. <sighs> Damn it! I have to walk all the way fucking back. Patricia. Patricia. Patricia, know anything? Oh, you rolled animal handling? She did. Yeah. Uh, a 12? Yeah. Um, I say that Patricia, like, I guess you, you probably, like, reach your hands up to, like, right, to, like, kind of gesture yeah. for it to come down. Here, kitty, and, kitty. Uh, Patricia sniffs your hand, but does not jump off of the bookshelf. Damn. Um, can I keep talking, and I want to ask her why she thinks... I want to ask, uh, why do you think Duncan would send us here? Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe because of the relics? Maybe that's a piece of the puzzle? <laughs> this is too much for me. Inside check that bitch. Okay. What is that? Oh, roll it. Um, I just want to see if she's telling the truth. Like, if I can tell, like, she's, like, trying to fake it, like, trying to get out of it, or... But, like an underlying meaning. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do that. Okay. 
Do what? She's gonna actually do it. She's gonna roll for insight. What's your uh wait so for uh, um what is that noise? Like oh. I can't sit still. Twelve, right? Okay, because I rolled twelve. Not great. So in the future, when somebody says like roll like whatever, blank check, whatever, can we is do hold on, sorry, let me get my pop up together. <laughs> um bonuses, like should we figure out who has the highest bonus in each one and like that's the person that does it or does it matter? No. That's no, called metagaming and I, usually I it's not allowed. Don't yeah. yeah. That's like metagaming. Basically, here's 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 here I'll explain your skills really quick. Um you see your little skill block where all your skills are and then the bonuses that you get to them, right? Yes. So anytime you want to do something and I want you to make a dice roll, I'm gonna say make a investigation check or make a stealth check or make an acrobatics check. And that's me telling you that I want you to make this check to see if you succeed in doing that thing. So if you're if you're looting a body, that's an investigation check. If you're trying to jump um, across a ravine, that's going to be an acrobatics check. If you have something specific in mind that you want to do, say, I want to try to trick this man into giving me his fork purse. That's going to be, you're going to say, well, I'm going to roll a deception check to try to deceive. So that's you mm. looking at your uh, skills and saying, okay, I want to do this specific thing because it's going to allow me to use this skill that I'm good at. Mm. Or maybe you want to choose a skill that you're not good at and you just want to try to do the thing anyway. I bet she's asking more of what, like, since I said insight checker, if we pick the person that has the highest insight, it's so mainly... mainly, you shouldn't really say, hey, somebody should roll a perception check. Yeah. If that's something that you're thinking be the one yeah it's yeah. like yeah. basically whoever comes with the idea like whoever wants to do it like if i say i want to see if she's lying then you tell me to roll in but i check no matter how high mine is okay maybe like first few though can we kind of like can some people give me some insight and stuff what i like some op options to do kind of like while i'm still kind of learning yeah, yeah for sure well, basically i think the easiest thing to do is for you to tell me like what what do you want to do right like so like you're in the situation and you are um mary jane what does mary yeah. jane want to do you tell me that and then after you tell me that i can tell you you know what i mean yeah so you might say well, well well mary jane wants to figure out if she's telling the truth then i'll say okay go ahead and make an insight check or you might you may not care about that you may say well, Mary Jane wants, so like has Dazzle was like, oh, I want to try to get the cat. So she's over here making an animal handling check while you're talking to this girl. So it's like, whatever you guys are wanting to do in the room, go ahead and do. And then I'll tell you what checks need to be made, if any. Okay. So just think of what like your character's goals are. Like what does your character want to happen? And then try to come up with whatever way you think will make that happen. And I will help you to that goal, if that makes sense. Yeah. Help you see what you need to do to get there. Okay. Um, back into the game. What's the, what, was somebody else trying to make some kind of check? I think, I want to, I said I want to see if she was lying. Oh yeah, wait, I, I did the inside but check. Like they did the... Okay, well, you, from what you can tell, she seems to be genuine. She's genuinely crying all over you. Okay. Hmm. Verzik's down because uh, uh, this there's this talk of magic artifacts. It sounds like uh, he wants to go back to the castle and see if he can get his hands on some of those books. Yeah, I want to okay. confer with the group. Like, since we know about this guy's the court wizard, we should go ask the princess to have access to his quarter to see if we can figure out any more clues. Yeah. Does Halt That's say cool. that to her? Yes, Halt says that to her. I'm still upset by the cat, so I just kind of <laughs> do whatever. Demaya's going to say she's down, as even though she's irritated, she has to walk all the way back there. Um, and that we might as well bring the rock. <laughs> I I agree with you guys. I think we should go check out his quarters, because I think, I think the big thing that we found out here is that he was looking into these relics. 
Yeah. And really, so that's what brought these people up to our plane if they're from somewhere else or wherever they're from. Okay, and then Gabe, I think at some point you were going to do an arc kind of track, and then we haven't done that yet. Yeah, I, yeah, I'd like to do that. Okay. I do that. <laughs> so basically, Gabe's going to make an arcana check on the stone. An arcana check is a check to see if he can understand the magical properties of something, if they have magical properties at all. Oof. <laughs> what is your- 11. Oh, 11. It's definitely magical. <laughs> cool. Uh, like, you know that there's ma- magic in it. Okay. I don't know oh, what kind or how much. All right. I, so I don't um, know, like, this definitely is magical. I don't know how crazy, I don't know if it's powerful or what it could be used for, but I know that this is definitely some magic shit. All right. All right. Well, you can keep holding it as we walk because I'm, I don't, I don't want to deal with any of the, the frou-frou. So then when I agree, we're going to walk back to the castle to talk to the princess to see if we can get this quarter. Yeah. Yeah. But before yeah. we leave, since the cat, I'm still upset about the cat, and I just, I like, out loud, I'm like, did you know most calicos are female? And that's it. I just... <laughs> <laughs> On the, before we go straight to the princess, I want to go back to the main hall, and then I want to see if I can, like, look at the people that attacked us, like, what they are, like, see if I can figure out where they come from. Yeah. You do what? What you? Say? I want to go investigate the bodies that killed the queen and all of them. The little figures. Are you guys just fast traveling back to the palace? Yeah. Are we allowed yeah. to fast travel back to the palace? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I vote we do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, you guys are back in the palace. Uh, the bodies aren't where they were left because you can only imagine they began cleaning things up and um, whatever kind of team the princess would have to investigate the bodies she probably has put together and started doing that Um, so in fact um, you um, are almost not gained entry into the palace at all because there are now three times as many guards at the gate um i showed my, them my signal no um one of them were, recognized you all from earlier and um he tells the rest to let you in thank god um and um so now that you're in the palace i guess you went to check that corridor you see that it's been not completely cleaned up, obviously, but the bodies have been removed. Okay, well then let's just go to the princess. Yeah, I want to. I, I ask the nearest guard, or I ask the guard that let us. Um, where's the archmage's quarters? Uh, I don't know much about no archmage. <laughs> you know what I mean, Chris. Um, but the court wizard, his yeah. uh, his yeah. quarters are uh, <laughs> in the east wing. Then I want to head, head towards the east. Um, okay, before, before you get there, you are stopped by um, two guards that are inside, like, the actual palace. Because you asked the one at the gate, right? Yeah. So, um, and they said, oh, we've been expecting you. Um, the princess has asked to see you. Hmm. Um, Where's she at then? Uh, well, they're gonna take you there. Yeah, take us. Can you take us to without them? them? Okay. <laughs> no. Um, okay. He can and he will, but it's almost ten. Um, yeah. Yeah, true. We could call it here. So we could call it here, or we we could do like a little bit. I'm done for whatever. I don't know if anyone has to go. I am literally not doing anything, so. Um, I mean, as a next part, I am like, long? I feel like it it's be. dependent on what you guys do, which is why. Yeah. Um, which is why I think it, this is a good stopping point. All right, let's, let's, 
Let's do it. We hit the save point. Let's quick save. And then you get it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you Only because I have the up at six. Yeah, next to you. You guys get up at six? six? Yeah, that's what time I get. I have to I start work at seven. That's right. I yeah. don't get up until like 7.30. Chris, the cat will get up. Say, yeah, come on. I don't get up. Yeah. Hey, who does it Cal work with? Nobody. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I know that. That's why the hard cutoff is 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah I, I get up at 10, sorry. I get up at 8.45 because uh, my meeting starts at 9.30. Yeah, that's how I am, Andrew. <laughs> well, I did oh, work from uh, home for seven weeks, and it was the most awful thing I could have done, so I'm glad to be going back to work at 7. See, I'm more so of a, I get up in the morning and start working, and then take like a little extra longer lunch um, to like go for a walk with the dog or something. I take like I, I take like a I take like a ten minute lunch so that I can wake up as late as possible. That's All right, fair. So for, our, for our last three minutes, um, how'd we do? How 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 Lexi and I do? We <laughs> did you great. Good there at the uh, at the bookshop it was impressive. Yeah, yeah. For real. Thank you. That was not all me. <laughs> was a lot of work. Yeah, it wasn't Gabe cool, whispering in her ear. Tell me about your brother. I'm still learning. I think I, I asked a lot of good questions. That's where I was. No, going. you all are doing great. It's better. It's like better than I expected for the first session. So that's good. My dad yeah, died. Andrew tried to kill me. Well, oh, so it's nothing. It's literally nothing personal. My character just doesn't give a shit if you live or die. <laughs> my um, my all my expectations are always blown because it's like the things that I think you guys are gonna fixate on you don't, <laughs> and then the things that I don't think that really you would even care about. It's like, oh wait, what is is this a thing? Literally every DM ever, and I'm just like, oh fuck, now I have to come up with something to do. With this and the stuff I had prepared for this other thing, I'm just gonna throw that. Yep. Or it's like, even like when I expect you to pass like certain facts because they're very low, and you don't. <laughs> Eight and six for perception at the very beginning. Awesome. It's like, uh, I guess you yeah, don't I get to know this. Really cool. I guess you don't get to know this whole like three quarters of a page worth of information. Dude. The things that I wrote down is like from my notes, the things that I uh, thought were like the best highlights were the fact that I have an imaginary friend named Rylan because I literally never met them. Um, <laughs> that uh, that we had to go to 14 Idiot Avenue. Um, and then that uh, the best phrase that we're just all going to keep repeating in the chat every time we fast travel is insert exposition that makes sense. <laughs> and I think I'm going to continue to ignore that. <laughs> Because, yeah, that is funny. Oh, and that uh, that Moash is looking for romance novels. Oh, yeah, I paid for that. <laughs> he, he's, he definitely, like, as everyone was leaving, he, like, dropped a couple coppers and took yep. one of the <laughs> romance novels. Not that, not that he particularly cares about the story, but he's really into works. Can we actually, uh, can we actually make that a thing, metagame, and that way you can read it to me as we go throughout this campaign? <laughs> yeah, Gabe, I want you to write a romance novel in real life, so that way you can read it. In <gasps> yes! <time. laughs> yes! Right. I'll just find some good... great love story. I'll just, find I'll some really good fan fiction. Yeah. Yeah, read fanfic. I fic. Don't think that this is a, a, a a burn, but <laughs> Piper. Not an orc. Nice mustache. Oh, what just happened? Piper put his cam on. Oh, is this what we're doing? Hold on. Is this what we're doing? Is this what we're doing? Come here, Lasso. Jesse, come here. Is this what we're doing? This is what we're doing. Robin, come here. Bringing all the dogs into the cameras. Amazing. How do you? I don't even know how to get to video. <laughs> Everybody's got a puppy. How cute! 
<laughs> Damn, you're naked. You're nasty. You have any? I actually don't answer. What do you like to know? Y'all, everyone has to come visit. Give it up in their guest room now. Chris, you do too, right? Is that where Patrick is? Yeah. Yep. Oh, right now? Ignore it, Andrew. Straight ignore it. Huh? You threw the ball. No reaction. She gives no fucks. <laughs> I think Robin's mad at me. I woke Laszlo up just to pull him into the camera, so he's like a little <laughs> shook. She was, no, she was asleep. She was asleep. On the book. Haley, are you dead? I don't see you. No, I just like, whenever I first logged on, I don't think I gave access to my video, so I'm having to figure out how to... Oh, you might have to close the program and open it back up to let it let you use it. Gross. That. Are you on a MacBook? You can see me next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next time on... <laughs> next time <laughs> so on... It is not written by Griffin McElroy. Did you just call him McElroy? <laughs> I did. Yeah, I need to come up with a name. What? I need you to come up with a name for this. Uh, yeah, next time on. We know it. our next one. We're gonna come up with a name for our party. And don't expect me to remember the names of any NPCs that I had to come up with on the fly today. <laughs> don't worry, I wrote mine down. Recorded it just for funsies. You recorded all this? I did too. No, I feel like, no, I feel like we should have. Oh, I did. Do you want it? I recorded everything. Oh, oh God. God. I, wanted, like, it, I think I want it at the end, whenever we can put it all together. When all right. like 35 and finally finishing the campaign. I know some of Jesus Christ, Chris, how much have you written? I think I... I never stopped writing, that's the thing. I think the campaign was like 10 years with my cousin. Holy like crap. Whoa. Yeah, it was a super long one. Well, I got you, Haley. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this one and we can go back to it later and I'll do all the rest as we oh, play. Do, like, all the funny moments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll clip them, do highlight the reels. Up blue for real. <laughs> Insert exposition here that makes sense. This is literally the first time I've ever tried to like record. I tried to record my screen with it to like include the chat and couldn't get it to work. So next time I'll get that set up by I'll get that set up by next Wednesday. Which Get some release forms too. That way, you I can't sue you later. Oh yeah. <laughs> when she monetizes this. Yeah. Do you? Oh yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up on uh, official YouTube and everything. Do you guys want me to? Do you want me to give you credit? Send me your at. Send me your handles. Uh, stream it, Adrian. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to put it on Twitch. I'll stream it live. As a, you're gonna stream a recorded thing. Yeah, you can stream. I was gonna stream like the the like half my screen as the Discord chat and then half my screen as my character sheet. I wonder if it would be interesting enough for people to actually watch a Twitch of us playing. Absolutely. Probably not the whole thing, but the highlight reels. I, do you can you imagine the incredible pressure that would put on me as the DM? <laughs> if I knew more people would I know Griffin McElroy or Matt Mercer. Hey, Twitch chat would remind you all your NPC names, though. They would. Hey. They would. They'd spell them all wrong, too. <laughs> I'm doing what I always do when I'm on the phone, and that's pace. That is a whole hell. Wow. Say that again. Patrick, are you living with Chris? Still in this month, yeah. Kind of. Okay. Not really. A little bit. Alright, well, this one has to be at work at 7, so I'm going to start getting ready for bed. So it's gonna be See ya, Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle. Razzle -dazzle. Every time you kill someone, that's what you have to say. Give him a good old Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle. <laughs> Give him the old Razzle Dazzle. Alright, it's been real fun. Peace. It's been real fun. <laughs> it has been real fun. Night. Night. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba -dum, ba -dum. 
All right, we got to think of a name. That's like the key the key way to monetize this is a name. And then you always have to like end and enter the same way. Like, all right, next time on whatever. <laughs> next time on. Uh, uh, I, <laughs> I really thought it was going to come to me. Insert exposition. Yeah, exposition. yeah, insert exposition. <laughs> insert exposition that makes sense. I think exposition exposition, exposition that makes sense would be a, a good one. Exposition quest. We don't do any dice rolls. We just talk. <laughs> no, there's no actual we playing. We fail everything. Yeah, there's no playing. It's just all of us listening to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is just the novel he wrote. This is kind of just a book reading. Yeah, there's like I like share my screen and it's like a 300 per page word document. Except it's all oh. our scripts and it's just us. Oh my up. gosh! Yeah. I even write in the like ums and ers. <laughs> and all right, we just hit. We Wait, just. What is this check again? <laughs> we just hit oh, three God. hours on my recording officially, so I'm gonna stop it now and save it, and then next time I'll be able to start it when we play.